Should we pretend like we're talking? Yeah, I think so. Previously on Insomniac Live, we had a stream in Durham. We did. I feel like... Hi, I'm Italian and I love American peoples. Hi, <laughs> I am American, but also with Italian heritage. And I love American and Italian peoples. I'm Thomas. So anyway, so anyway, hey look, Lewis. I haven't seen Lewis in forever. You guys went to Burbank. No, we didn't go to Burbank. Why would we go to Burbank? Does this look like Burbank? If it does, we did our job right. This is better than Burbank. This couch is way more comfortable than Burbank's couch. We got yep. pillows and stuff. Pillows. Any plans to try out Devil May Cry 5? Yes, I, I purchased it. I am. Monday! And I am anticipating it. We're going to go Monday. We also got new tall cups here. So, like, we're new all around. By the way, welcome to Insomniac Live. Welcome back. Uh, we've been MIA for... We're late today as well. Uh, we're ten minutes late. You know why? Because we are literally... You can still smell the paint in this room. Mm -hmm. This is our new studio in Durham. We got new lighting. New lighting. You can't see it. There's a new green screen behind us. You can't see it. New oh, mics. We, new oh, mics. We should we just turn off the, the key. New couch. We can't. We can't. I don't have that ability. No. Next time. Um, this plane and old IP feel like incest. I don't know how what? that would even be that's relatable. A, that's an interesting way to phrase yes. that question. Yes. The paint better not be toxic. It, the stain is on the door. That's for sure. Um, anyway, hopefully we look good. I mean, well, hopefully the quality is okay. Yeah. And uh, hopefully the audio is good. And uh, this couch is huge. I mean, Thomas isn't even all the way at the end of it. Nope. Uh, can you move over? Like, keep going. Keep going. Further. No, I'm just joking. And also, uh, I, can, I can do this. When Tim... S stop it! Stop. Oh, my goodness. All right, anyway. It's going to build a wall. We, we're going to be able to have a lot more people on stream. A lot more people on stream. Uh, and, well, I'm rambling. So today we're playing Spyro. Let's, we're also doing a community mailbag, which we haven't done in years. Years. Because Corey hasn't been doing it properly. So we're back to take our throne. Why am I yelling? We're back to take our throne. Because you can yell. We can yell now. Well, but I'm sure they can still hear us. This is not like... Ah! This isn't like... Um, I'm yelling. Why are you streaming? I can't be here. I have to write a review. Oh, man, remasters. Just leave like you always used to. Aw. Um, hold on, I gotta get rid of it. I gotta get rid of it so I can get the community mailbag. We're gonna use last week's mailbag. Uh, we missed y'all too. Yes, we are gonna play Spyro shortly. So, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Let's do community mail. Community, 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 community mailbag. Here we go. I'm gonna find the post. Keep talking, Thomas. When was the post? 227, this is it. Favorite Spyro character. All right, here we go. Spyro. Uh, I saw someone wearing a nice Insomniac game shirt. This is Puppet Show Justice. Interesting. Uh, at a Luray Caverns over the summer. Do you guys sell shirts? Or was that a staff member? Well, if it was black, it was a staff member. If it was slightly blue, you probably got it from Insomniac.store. They're on sale right now. Insomniac.store. If you want one of those awesome Insomniac game shirts with the new logo. It should be down below if you're on Twitch, right? Uh, yes. If you're on Twitch, it's on the panels down below. But we do sell shirts. Thank you for asking Puppet Show Justice. The Mad Polar Bear. Was there ever any plans to bring back multiplayer mode found in Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal and Ratchet and Clank Deadlock to Ratchet and Clank Future Trilogy? Uh, if no, what were the reasons for the exclusion? I think we wanted to go in a more cinematic direction with the, with the, tri with the Future Trilogy. And it required longer dev cycles. And more people and more, you know, focus on visuals and cinematics and everything. So, no, I don't think there ever was. There might have been early on. I wasn't here for that. Um, but I know we didn't... That wasn't the direction we wanted to go with those games. Uh, let's see here. Skip Kian. GZ183. Any villains you wanted to use but couldn't? Uh, we can't say. <laughs> <laughs> because that would, you know, 
Yes. Lauren says, y'all don't understand how upset I am that I can't bother you two while you're streaming. Well, good news for you, Lauren. You're always bothering me in my heart. Mm. Mm. <laughs> hey, um, here's a real question. We forgot to, or not question, I'm we forgot kidding. to record the Lauren laugh track. We did. Yeah, so we were So we're going to have to do that so that we can have Lauren chuckle. Yeah. Can Moneybags get a shout out? Yes. Yes. Moneybags. Shout out to Moneybags. Techno Bacon. Simple question with all the Pokemon stuffs going on today. This is a delayed mailbag. Mm -hmm. Pikachu yeah. or Eevee? Uh, Pikachu. E easily. Come on. Is that a real question? I, yes. I don't even know Come who Come on. Who? What? Eevee, Eevee's like a little fox, and she can turn into... No, no, no. I'm just joking. I she know. She can turn into, like, different... I'm, hey. Hey. Stop. The Mortal Kombat... Yeah, I was gonna... Play, <laughs> you, that, that was the joke I was gonna go into. <laughs> hey. Uh, it's a pity you won't answer one question that really matters. When's the next Ratchet and Clank? Sorry. Sorry. Flame King 122 With the awesome lineup of suits, we you got me thinking, were there any suits that didn't make it into Spider-Man? Yes. Um, Key and Prime. What's your favorite Pokemon? We already answered that one. We didn't, but okay. What's your favorite Pokemon, Thomas? Scyther? Come on, now. Come on, Scyther all day. What up? Scy, Scy, Scythe. <laughs> Do you guys see the Pokemon Sword and Shield announcement? This morning, which was last week, what do you think? You guys, Pokemon fans, are you Pokemon fan? Fan. I, Pokemon fan. I'm not a like massive fan, but I enjoy some Pokemon. It's either Scyther or Gengar. By the way, I gotta, I gotta edit myself because Gengar is also awesome. And only the one, the original count. Come on. I'm you old. make you make my head hurt. I'm Having old. worked with Sony exclusively in the past, what is it like working with producers like Connie Booth and Grady Hunt? What type of backing does Sony provide other than financial? Well, we can't get into all of our details about Sony. Connie and Grady are great. Everyone at Sony is great. Everyone at Oculus is great. Everyone at Microsoft is great. We've worked with a lot of great people over the years. Um, Sony, obviously, more than others, but they're all great. All right. Oh, wait a minute. One more. What led to the string of mobile game release from Insomniac a few years ago? I love the difficulty of Digital Dash. This was by... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. TJ2. Um, what led to it? We were just trying out new things. That's what we do. So we're an independent studio. We like to do that stuff. Um, Alright, there we go. We can play the game now. You guys ready to see some Spyro? Let's do it. I uh, Maybe I need to play, though. Okay. You want to play? No, that's cool. I mean, I don't... I have no... Cool. Yeah, anyway, it's cool. It's cool. Whatever. Whatevs. I'm being ignored. What do you mean? What did she say? What? Uh, why are you sitting so far apart? Because I don't want to sit next to Thomas. That's like, I sit next to him all day. I don't need to sit next to him on a couch. There's a rift in our relationship, and we express it visually. You guys, uh, Castle Door know. DLC, yes or no? What was the question? Castle Door DLC, yes or no? Castle Door? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. I am ready. So I'm going to say no. Wait, I thought the stream was almost over. Nope, but we just started. No, we just started. We're just getting started. And then Burbank's going to come on, and then we're going to keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let us know how everything sounds. We, we tested it, so it should be okay, but... It's, I will say this, it's ungodly hot in here. Because, oh, yeah, it's intensely hot. Because uh, the AC in our building is not working today. And and luckily we have these nice LED lights now. And uh, it's not super hot because of the lighting. It's just hot. But uh, the way they built the studio, it, it was freezing in here earlier. Yep. So it's like the extreme, the opposite extreme. Is the room not soundproof? It's not soundproof, no. It's sound dampening. We have insulation in the walls. We have uh, foam up on the walls for acoustic treatments. Can't hear the game at all because it's... Turn we're on. literally just using the TV. Is that I mean, better? We don't want it super loud. Yeah, we don't want... Like, we're not here for the game, right? We're here for us. <laughs> I'm just joking. There is a door added to artisans that people think will have DLC in Spyro 1. Oh. Well, I... I Sure. I don't know. Honestly, I didn't know about that. 
And we didn't make this game, so... If we I had to the get... the original game, right? But not yeah, this. we didn't make the remaster. You gotta light those fires, man. Right there. Um, maybe? I, I don't see Activision... Or not Activision. I, it is Activision. Torch I just don't see them doing uh, DLC for the Reunited Trilogy, but maybe. Seems a little interesting, They I didn't guess. do it for Crash, right? That I'm aware of. Yeah, I don't know. Do they do it for Crash? Not to my knowledge. Does playing Spyro make it nostalgic for old titles you made? Uh, I wasn't around during Spyro, so I can't say that with... It makes me nostalgic in the sense that I played this when I was a kid. So. Y yeah, it's crazy that this game looks so good now. Um, and, you know, this was like one of the first games Insomniac made. You know you're supposed to blow all those up, right? Yeah. You know that's what I'm doing, right? No. I can't tell. I'm, I'm just sweating too much. <laughs> they made DLC for Crash, yeah. They did? For the Crash re new trilogy. They made DLC. Well, then, why are you asking me? Then, yes. The answer is yes. So, see, there you go. If they made Crash DLC, then they're probably going to make Spyro DLC. And it's coming Tuesday, as Sean would say. Yeah. Oh, there's a guy over there. Any up-and-coming big hits that you're working on? Sorry, can't answer that, JP. Sorry. I need this water. It is hot in here, Thomas. Dude, it is intensely hot. It looks like I'm in lava. Oh, my goodness. I was in lava. Spyro DLC confirmed. You heard it. The company who had nothing to do with the Reignited Trilogy has confirmed DLC for the Reignited Trilogy. Gotta be honest, I missed watching your stream while working on my own stuff. Well, thank you for being honest. I was hoping it... I mean, I'm, I'm happy that it was not... Gotta be honest, I hate you too. Or right. something like that, you know? Right. Or gotta be honest, Thomas is... Better than Tim. Yeah, well... Because I would upset you. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Fake news doesn't upset me, Thomas. Oh. But didn't you guys consult for the game? We did not. So what happened was, um... Like, early on, when they first were going to do it, Toys for Bob talked to Ted, Brian, and Al about Spyro and, like, the DNA of Spyro and all that stuff. But we never... Once the game development started, we had no say in it. I, maybe Ted saw some builds. Maybe. I don't know. We didn't as a company. No. I still can't get over how freaking beautiful these remasters are. I can't either. This is the best remaster I know. Yeah. I mean, like, there's not a better remaster out there. Yep, yeah, I agree. I agree completely. When does Storm release? 2019. Lewis, you gotta stop channel hopping, man. You gotta stop channel hopping. I'm By the way, I love this new couch. I could sit here all day. Yeah, it's really comfy. I'm pretty much have sat here all day. And it's like kind of a cheaper couch, but it's super comfy. Comfy. Well, cheaper as couches go. Right. It's also huge, by the way. We could fit four or five people on here. Yep. Probably still not big enough for Lauren's guns, but... Ooh. What this? The lighting does look so much better. I would hope so, considering what it cost. Oh, I'm starting to get real hot right now. Jeez. Do you need me to play? No. I got water. <laughs> I feel good. Yeah. Um, yeah, we got padding up in here. We got new mics. I got a new mixers. I got brand new lighting everywhere. Sweet. I got sweet LEDs in the back here. We got backlighting. We're like six feet from the wall here now, so we can put people behind us. Thomas, you should get up and walk back there later. Okay. And show people how bright it is. This, I hate this. No, you gotta go left. You missed uh, it. You missed the one. Go back and get it. Just wait. Yeah. I, I did this so many times one time that I like know it by heart now. You can shoot that metal thing, by the way. Because you know you have a cannon. 
Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, shoot. No, don't hit the bricks. Yeah, shoot is, uh, I believe it's circle. Wait, do you have to do this perfectly? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I know, that's what I'm saying. I've mastered it because I had to do it so many times. Wait, so what can, I can't shoot that. No, no, not that. You already shot the thing. Now go over. You'll, you'll see what you have to shoot. They'll put crates in your way. But certain ones explode, so don't get too close to them. You'll see. Uh, keep going. Okay, shoot. No! Okay, that was close. The ones that don't explode, you want to jump over. Not shoot. Okay. How do I go this way? No, oh. no, no, no. I'll tell you. Listen to me. Listen to me. I didn't realize. I It'll hope it's soon. What, what do you hope it's soon? You want me to do it? Nah. Okay. Nah. I got this. Where is Brendan Fraser? Probably at his house. Somewhere. Where does he live? Probably California. I'm not Brendan Fraser. Fraser's keeper. Yeah, what are we? What are I'm, we? Brendan Fraser's executive assistant? Some some would call that a beekeeper. <laughs> Jump. There you go. Okay. When you wait for it to go back around, I'll tell you when to go. Now, left. Left, left. I'm trying. Oh, you have to shoot the thing, sorry. I, I didn't know you didn't know how to do that. <laughs> you have to shoot the little red thing and it turns the track. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. My friend work at Insomniac, Nick N. Nick N. What to do? I'm trying to think. Nick N. I know uh, Nick... Um, uh, crap, what's his name? Who's Nick N? Let me look. I'm gonna look right now. Not search. What do I want? I want to go to direct message. Search Nick Fudge. I don't, I don't know any Nick trolley. N. I used to know Nick, but they no longer work here. What is what does Nick do? I don't know that name, but then again, we're not in Burbank, so pour one out for Brendan Fraser and those alimony checks. Why? Hey, Moose Pig, think you're supposed to jump over the crates? Yes, you jump over the crates, shoot the TNT, mm -hmm. but it's different every time. So if it's TNT, you shoot it. If it's a crate, you jump over it. Does so that make I sense? Shoot. shoot this. And yes. I go this way. Okay. Now jump. Now now. If I were you, I'd keep going straight. There's going to be another track you're going to... No, shoot that. Okay. Keep going straight. No, left. Right. Left. Right. There you go. Jump. And then you're going to ride this all the way back around again and do that same thing, but instead of going right, you're going to go left at the end. Does that make sense? I think so. Animator. Uh, I'll have to... I don't, I don't know. I don't know, Nick, but we'll, uh, we'll let him know. Oh, what? I did it. <laughs> trouble with the trolley, trouble eh? Trouble with the trolley. You know what's more frustrating than this level? Because uh, this is kind of frustrating. Is the... Um, oh, I messed up. Crap, which one? I just did it the other day. What am I thinking of? Oh, oh, the, the uh, gulp boss fight. That's what it was. That one's pretty rough. It's also pretty rough because Crush is so easy to fight. Mm -hmm. And then you fight Gulp and it's like way harder. Mm. What am I gloating about? What, was I gloating? I don't remember gloating. You're always gloating. Yeah, that's true. Who says you're gloating? Someone said me gloating at you is glorious. Okay, left, good. Oh, I Shoot! Oh! You got... 
Yeah. I didn't. I thought it was a jumper one. Do you need help? Nah, I got this. Oh, when I died? Huh? Oh, when I die? When you die? No, when I died. When you died? What? 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 Huh? Hello? Why don't you call Tim Sal Glody for nothing? We don't call you Tim Sal Glody for nothing. That's kind of funny. GG Thomas says Moose Pig. Why don't you come try this your own time, Ian? Why don't you, I dare you to come to the studio right now and play this section, Ian. Yeah, Moose Ian. Moose Pig. So Tim, I've been playing a lot of Sea of Thieves lately. That mermaid we found in our game is to be destroyed by constantly dealing damage to it. That's what we tried to do, I thought. Well, I guess it heals really quickly. Oh, man. So, so how do you, you what did you kill it with? Something, like, really big? Oh, shit. Oh, Thomas. Oh. I'm good. Oh, God. Uh, you're working. I'm working, too. Come on. It's hot in here. Okay. Uh, I don't think that'll entice him to come. <laughs> I, I, it's actually probably, it's more comfortable in here, probably. There you go. No, Kian, I'm not calling you Ian. There's another one. Get ready. Okay, now you have to do that again, but this yeah, time... Yeah, yeah, I, I saw it. Yeah. You're almost there, Tom. Jump. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. I did it. We did it, fam. Jonathan, K is Kayla or Sayla? Hi. The trolley. Yes. What up? With a side of butter, says Sage of Twelve Paths One. But it, I don't know what that's from. I'm very happy we turned on the sunglasses cheap, by the way. This made this playthrough so much better. Is it 81 degrees in here, Lauren? It's it, really Actually, hot. the oh, more I, I drink this, this water, the more I feel better. I don't want to go this way. Let me off. Let me why, off. Why are you doing this? I didn't mean to. Just die. Just die. Just hit the wall right here. The heat is not broken because of me. Maybe it is. Don't Have you guys it. considered a crossover between these games? What do you mean? Which games? The the likely answer is uh no. Yeah no. But and jump we'll probably, on that. We we might not be the IP holders. No, you gotta go light the last fire, man. Jump on that thing, and then get on the ship and light the last fire. I think I already lit, we lit this We didn't light way. the fire. No, no. Did you raise the ship? No, you didn't. You gotta light the fire. Go around the back. Uh, right there. Hey, right there. Oh, I would never see that. It's like hidden. Now your ship's gonna raise. There should be one more. Uh, yeah, right there. Now the ship raises. Then you beat the level. But you can 100% if you want. Or you can go back. Is this the Ratchet and Clank and Spyro. No, we have... The answer is no. We're not the IP holders of either. We're of not. Us. Yeah, we're not the IP holders of either of these. Neither is Sony, nor is Activision. So Activision owns Spyro. Sony owns Ratchet. We own neither. So, unless Sony and Activision got together and did a mashup or some kind of crossover, uh, yeah. There's your answer. I did it. Just take off your scarf, Moose Pig. Wasn't there a Crash and Spyro crossover? Yeah, but Crash and Spyro are both owned by Activision. So if there was, that's why. We have no windows to open. They're all oh, well. We do have windows, but none of our windows open. Shoot them. Nice. Tim, can I? Can you please tweet a picture of you holding the letters I and P? With the caption of, I am the IP holder. <laughs> Sounds like a Bart Simpson prank call. <laughs> Hear anything on Port S, Port S or Remaster the Ratchet Games on PS4, especially Deadlocked. Um, no, I know nothing about those. I That would be up to Sony, and I doubt they do it because they already remastered the games for PS3. And to remaster them again... I doubt they do that, but maybe, who knows, it's up to Sony. I hope Tim passes out on stream over the heat. Why? That's mean. Do you want me to ban you again? How's that? 
How, how, can, how about I don't unban you ever again? I like that. Good, good call. Mean message requires a mean response. Is there a new difficulty? Uh, don't know. Because we didn't make this game. We did not develop this game. Yeah. I remember a game with... By the way, we are Insomnia Games, and we did make the original Spyros. But... Oh, you're learning how to climb. So now you can go back and do all the climbing things that we missed. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, we didn't make the remaster. Activision owned, did it with uh, Toys for Bob. I remember a game where Crash was in Spyro's world and Spyro was in Crash's world. I, I mean, that may have happened. I don't know. I do not know. Climb. I'm just looking at this sweet animation. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, man. He's like dancing. To the left, to the right, and cha cha real smooth. Do a yeah. Go back. No, backwards is the cha 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 cha. See. Left to the right, cha cha real smooth now. You gotta feel it. Uh. It's electric. It's electric. Oh, boogie woogie woogie woogie. Yeah. I didn't know it was you gotta feel it. I don't know if it's you gotta feel it. Whatever. Excuse me for my lack of electric slide knowledge. Didn't you take that gym class where they all, we all did the electric slide for like two weeks? Uh, I believe that reason? was I believe that was like fifth grade anima or animation graduation. <laughs> Lauren, will Tim ever Why? play golf? Kian. I'm not even gonna say anything. I give up. Hello from Greece. How's it going? Thank you for joining us. The PS3 remasters were total. Trash! Ouch! Glitches abroad, crashing the system. That's not on Sony. That's more more on the port company whose name eludes me. I believe, uh... I don't remember who did those. But, I mean... We're talking about Ratchet? It's funny, well, whatever. They're talking about the PS3 ports. R Sony did commission the ports and tested the ports. I mean, they were first party. So it wasn't like... I don't know, whatever. Blame who you want to blame if you didn't like them. I'm sorry. I was super disappointed that Ted, the intern, didn't make the music video for the 25th anniversary. Mm. What are you talking about? I'm not singing. He's... Wait, what? I ain't singing. We are nerds. Thank you, Chris Fountains. Do you guys go to Disneyland on your 25th anniversary too? No, we did not. We went skiing. We're not on. We're not anywhere near Disneyland. So uh, we're actually only like eight hours from Disney World. But we went skiing. Well, to a ski resort. Some people didn't ski. Some people just drank. What the? That jerk. Pants. Spyro is my all-time favorite game. I used to play it all the time on PS1. I'm so happy to be able to play this masterpiece again. We really like what they did with the remasters. Yeah. Again, as we said, it's the best remaster. Bar none. Is oh. that a blonde Lauren? Who? That? Oh, the girl in the game? It's because... Lauren doesn't wear pigtails, though. That I know. Does she? Lauren, do you wear pigtails? Hey, Lauren, can you hear me through the wall? Do you wear pigtails? Send us your answer via Morse, Knock twice. Morse code. Knock twice if you wear pigtails. Knock once if uh, I'm the best. Tim, can you give a shout out to my friend Yuri the man? Yes. Thank you, Insomniac Games and Toys for Bob. Well, thank you, Millman. Is it me, me man? Saying that because it's... Oops. I can't... I, the TV's further away and they're small. I might need to get bigger TVs what's, in here. What's the question? I think it's me man or mill man. Where are you reading that? Mill... The, the username. Yeah, it's mill man. Mill? Yeah. Or me. M-I-L. Or it could be capital I. Are the lights pointed from the ceiling? Uh, no. No, but yes, they are. 
They always kind of were pointing from the ceiling. Oh no, they're actually they're not pointing from the ceiling. They're kind of on a they're on a truss and they're kind of hanging down and they're kind of pointed at like a I don't know what is that forty five degree angle almost. Time, time. What did you? What would have? Time. What would have been nice to have a nano leaf lights? They are so nice. Nano leaf lights. I don't know what those are. We got professional light studio lighting in here, not just like. I'm looking. What are nano leaf lights? Light panels. Buy a nano leaf light panels. Are those like uh, Phillips Hughes almost? Oh, I see what they are. I see. Um, I didn't hear anyone knock, by the way, so maybe Lauren didn't hear us. Tim, can you give a shout out to my friend Mark? Yes. One of my favorite things I found in Deadlocked was a texture of what I believe was a bald Dan. Could have been. It could have been. Let Lauren play. Lauren is more than welcome to play whenever she wants. Yep. There's nothing stopping her from... Well, well there is. There there's is, work yeah. stopping her, but there's nothing from our end stopping her. Man, this couch is awesome. Oh, man. I could just, I just like lean back and just... Yeah, this couch is really comfy. I love the pillows. I just like... It's gonna be great once the AC works in here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, if we're doing shout-outs, how about my girl Jenna Tools? Yeah. Yes. You, got, you just got wrecked, Tim. You know, you realize that. I know. I got it. I forgot we're catering to children. Mm -hmm. Yes. It doesn't even sound like that. Because who calls them Jenna Tools anyway? Right? Yeah, I... Shouldn't it be Jenna Tolls? Maybe. Yeah. Not maybe. Yeah. Get better... Get better puns. Or whatever they're called. Ah, I'm not reading that one. Looks like perfect couch to sleep on after a hangover. I don't know what that is. Oh, we're not allowed to show feet? Is this foot getting in, in breaking rules on Twitch? We're getting banned. Good point. Exactly. Can you shout out to no? Get next time. Shout out my friend IP Freely. Spell I cup, Thomas. I C U the letter after O. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, say your name. Thomas. What am I pointing to? Nose. What's in this cup? Um, air. Ah. <laughs> Tim, say, uh... You know, you can lead a horse to water, but a pencil must be lead. Tim, say the word silk ten times fast. You know, he who farts in church... Tim, say the word silk. His own pew. Say the word silk ten times fast. No. Tim, say the word silk ten times fast, please. No, you say it ten times fast. No, do it. Come on. Give a shout out to my friend oh, Lauren. My gosh. No, she, she's no not fun. your friend, Keen. You're no fun. She's not your friend. Say the word silk ten times fast. Oh, you're no fun. Why are you so no fun? Hello, Y fourteen ten eight eight two one. Say the word silk. Say the word silk. Say the word no, silk. No, say, say silk the... ten times fast. Silk. Ten times, ten fast. times fast. Just say silk. I just did. Silk ten times fast. No, come on. You know what I'm asking you. Just say silk ten times fast. Silk ten times fast. No. Silk, 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 silk. What a cow string. I don't get it. What a cow string. 
They drink milk. Nope, they drink water. No, they drink themselves. <laughs> they drink themselves. A baby cow. No, but that's sucks a calf. That's not mother. a cow. A calf is a cow. How dare you? Uh, How dare you? That's just like saying like a kid's not a human. Yeah, uh, you got got. <laughs> How do you know cows drink water anyway, Thomas? Do you even know what cows drink? Have you grew up yeah. on a cow farm? Yes. What do cows eat? Grass. How many stomachs do they have? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> My Mortal Kombat knowledge and cow knowledge is on point. <laughs> what game you guys wished you could make? What's a game you wished you could make? I wished I would have worked on uh, the old school id shooters. I wish I would have worked at id back in the day. During Quake and, and Doom and all those days. Wow, it's good. Actually, I, you know what the joke, the 10 times fast thing, I was thinking you were going to get me to say silk instead of milk. So that's why I had to think about it and said milk. It's just to get you readily to rhyme with it's the same word. The word yeah, yeah, I mean, I know. But I, I was I was thinking it was going to make me say th silk instead of milk. Mm -hmm. So really, it didn't even turn out the way I thought anyway. I know. Because I purposely said milk. So that I wouldn't say silk again. That's because you got bamboozled Not by really. the master. Not really. The champion. Not really. Outmaneuvered. Outplayed. Can we prop hunt? No. Any more Spider-Man chapters coming? We have nothing to announce at this time. Bring back resistance, says Dustin. I will pass that along. Thank you, Dustin. If you had the rights, capital rights... Would you want a Star Wars Force Unleashed 3? No. Because we wouldn't make a sequel to someone else's game. If we had the rights to any game in the world, and we were making a new version of said IP, we would make our own version of that IP. We would not make a sequel, right? So we wouldn't do, you know, a sequel to Force Unleashed. We would, if we were doing a Spider- a Spider-Man game. If we were doing a Star Wars game, uh, we would make a Star Wars game. Our own version of a Star Wars game. Okay, but question is... Would they have been as good as they were if I worked on... They probably would have been better. That's right. I said it. You know, I, I always said that I applied to id Software first. And mm -hmm. they never returned my call. Hmm. And I stand by the fact that it was when they were getting bought by Bethesda, which it was true. They had jobs on their website for like a year that weren't even jobs anymore because the, everything moved over to the Bethesda website. Mm. But I didn't know that at the time. And then my second choice was Naughty Dog. And then my third choice was someone other than Insomniac. I think I was Insomniac was like my last choice. I applied to like Epic and... Bosky. A little, little bit before I applied to Insomniac. Aren't you glad you didn't get that Bosky job? Things have a funny way of working out. For the better. Oh, man. You're right, I did confirm an Insomniac Spider-Man game. I bet Insomniac would make the best Star Wars game. I, I'm a little confused by your capitalization, so when I read stuff, I'm thinking, like, I get it now, but... That's a sweet comment. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you. Hello. Hello. Hello, Rothenberg. Uh, Eden? Eden? Hello, Troy. How's it going? Choi? Is that how you say it? Why did you prefer Naughty Dog? Uh, well, at the time, uh, I played more Naughty Dog games. I had, uh, as an Uncharted fan. I played Ratchet a little bit, and I wasn't really into Resistance initially. Um, what the? You can burn the flags. Um... And I was just looking at companies I really, like, knew a lot about, and I didn't know a ton about Insomniac at that point. So. That's why. But really, I was going for id. 
It's... I wasn't a Jack and Daxter fan, though, no. In fact, I played more Ratchet than I did Rat Jack and Daxter. Uncharted was the game that really got me into Naughty Dog. Some days I get hit really hard with how surreal it feels working here. Like, I remember being young. Oh, hey, hey, let's not get too mushy-mushy in here, okay? Oh. No, I'm just joking. That's nice of you to say, Thomas. I just remember, I'm, like... I'm glad I hired you. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing, like, Ryan and Ted and stuff on, like, G4 back in the day. Did you see me on G4? I was I, on G4. I don't think I ever did see you. I don't recall it, at least. I was, I was on G4, right... Well, basically, all for one. I played G4 all for one. I played Outer Knots on G4. I played, uh... Resistance, maybe? Three? I don't know. G4, E3, we played all for one on live stream, and we all died. That's funny. Because like, was we, it like a crash and burn moment a little bit? Well, we walked on the stage, and Wade uh, uh, Wade Beckett, who was the um, producer at G4 at the time, uh, we were he was joking with us. He's like, hey, don't die. Mm -hmm. And it was me, James... Brandon Winfrey and who was the fourth person playing? I don't know, but if you can tell me that, you win. Um, so anyway, we get out there, we're playing, and I forget who was first, but whoever jumped over the gap first, and you know how you tether to each other? Right. Yeah, whoever jumped over the gap first fell, and we all tethered to that person. Right. And we all went down the hole and died and wiped. Well, at least at least they know the demo was real. But it was hilarious because we were all trying to tether our way out of it, but we kept attaching to the person who was falling, right. not the person who was the highest. That's so funny. And it was a great moment, made for great live TV. And we were there was a crowd of people around us, and Ted, I think, was... It was Ted or Chad was talking over us. And was it like... Will they, well, just, it was just, will like, they just embarrass themselves or something like that? Yeah, well, it just goes to show that we played a live demo. Yeah. Yeah, what inspired you to pursue a career in video games slash animation? Well, I'm not in animation. Uh, but I could tell you I wanted to just get in video games because I loved video games. I was working at a company where we did, uh, we had, I was a creative services firm. So we did like, we had like multiple clients, right? So I would do websites and I would do like any month, any given month I was do, do like multiple websites. So it was like I would be working for like multiple different clients, and a lot of them, some of them were fun, some of them were in, were in um, the entertainment industry or uh, excuse me the uh, hospitality industry. So there was some fun stuff with like some cruise ships and stuff like that that we got to do. Um, but then there was a lot of like medical stuff and kind of boring websites and intranets and all that stuff, and having to make websites in IE six. Uh, you have to hit that with a hard, something hard. Specifically a flame that is super, super powered. If you know what I'm talking about. I think I do. Um, anyway, I got sick of doing that. And I wanted to work for a company where uh, I could do one. I was my own client almost. So then, just so happened, Insomniac was one of the companies that was looking for a web developer. And I love video games, so I went for it. And I got the job. And the rest is history. What do you guys think about Spyro the Reignited being on Xbox instead of just being PS consoles where games first were? I think it's awesome. Yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's awesome that it can be on multiple consoles. I don't, I'm not a believer in the fact that just because something was on a console, it should always stay on that console. Uh, like, yeah. Like, like GTA, right? Or, um, um, what other games were like exclusive and then not exclusive? Uh, Mass Effect. Metal Gear? Although Mass Effect was different because it was bought by EA, and originally it wasn't bought by EA, right? Bioware wasn't EA, and then they were... For Mass Effect 1, and they were for Mass Effect 2? That's probably true. I think they got bought. That sounds, that sounds right. I think that's what it was. Um, either way, I think it's great. I think, like, especially people that grew up on this game on PlayStation 1 and then didn't, and bought an Xbox One and not a, not a PlayStation, and they can go back and play it, it's great. It's awesome. Do you know what I'm supposed to do? Uh, yes. Did you already open, beat the level? Maybe. Yeah, the gate's open. So, now you can get the gems if you want. Oh, I'm good. Okay, well then go home. Husband has a major in animation from Full Sail. I know what you mean. 
Imagine if someone else had gotten Tim's job. Maybe we'd be watching someone reading chat right now. Well, you know what? I will say this. I was hired as a web developer. Nine years later, I'm doing live streams. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I don't think there was many web developers out there that I know that would have evolved into things that are out of their realm of comfort. Sure. Um, so just because someone else, so let's say someone else got the job, you may not have had something like this. We may not have had a studio in Durham, Thomas. Mm. You know why? Because that person may not have come to Durham because the job wasn't originally in Durham. I'd like to think I'm a fo the forefather of, of live streaming in Durham, North Carolina. Okay. You're the first? Yes. That seems a little much. Okay, maybe not the forefather, but <laughs> the, we've, we did it best. That's for sure. Sad they haven't released this on PC. Yeah, it is sad, actually. Although, I'm not a big fan of platformers on PC. I mean, I, I get it if that's all you have. As a, but for me, I play, like, shooters and, like, RPGs on PC. Um, like Witcher, those kind of games. Um, but games like this, I feel like I, I like be playing better on console. Games that I play with a controller, I like playing better on console. Like we were talking about Anthem the other day. And how you like playing with the controller better. Because we have it on PC. Both right. of us do. Yes. And um, I, I kind of agree and I kind of wish I would have just had it on console. Actually, I don't wish I would have had it because... Yeah, then you wouldn't get the 4K and the... Well, you would. I, yeah, you do on Xbox One X. Graphic graphics settings. And... Yeah, but I don't care about that because... I mean, I, I would care about that if that stuff was important to that game. Mm -hmm. It's not. The game looks great regardless. Mm -hmm. It's not the visuals that is the problem with that game. Mm -hmm. Are you reading this? Who are you talking to, Ken? That's what life is about, though. You evolve, you adapt. Exactly. And that's what I love about this job that I have. Can we have a game like Uncharted at Insomnia Games? Uh, I don't know what that means. But I feel like Spider-Man kind of fit that bill. A little bit. Maybe. Third person action game. Set in a more realistic world than Ratchet. You know? Heavy, heavy on the story. You actually like Anthem. That's awesome. That's awesome. What do I, do I uh, my problem with Anthem is not that it's bad per se. My problem is that it's just very uh, uh, unmemorable. I think you have to like ram them. Yeah. And I feel like they made a lot of the same mistakes that it's a lot of the same problems that I had with the original Destiny. A lot of the same problems. I don't know. I feel like there was some things that they could have worked out that felt really odd in terms of design choices. And again, I not I know I did it. As a developer, I know games are just hard to make and anytime you ship a game, that's a miracle. But I do question some of the design choices they made. That's all. I probably had they made different decisions, I probably would enjoy it more. But the game itself looks amazing. The the, the controls are great, the combat's great. Like it's it's a great game in terms of technical achievement. I just am not a fan of some of the design choices. So can y'all confirm Nasty Nork at the end of Spyro Realm was only a minion made out of gems and not the real Nasty? Uh, I can't confirm that, no. I've been grinding Sea of Thieves lately because there's one year birthday on March 20th. I mean, we, we would love to play Sea of Thieves more... And, in fact, maybe we should play that instead of Anthem. <laughs> Actually, Apex is what kind of we play instead of Anthem. Monday, we should play D DMC, Devil May Cry 5, right, Thomas? Yes, yeah, for sure. But are you going to, like, beat the whole game over the weekend, and then, like, Monday it's not going to be eventful? Maybe. It might happen. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, there's. I think there's a bunch of post-game content. And we could get a guest. Somebody else would probably really want to play it. And I might not beat it. This is the best job in the world. That's what I'm saying. That's my whole point. I don't know what that, my point was. But that's, that's what, that is one of the things I like about this job, is that it is this job. 
I thought it was real good. What, Anthem? I... You know. <laughs> I, I, I think they probably needed more time to work on the game. That's all I'm going to say. It just... There's only so many times I can go back and forth to the forge to change my loadout before I kind of get frustrated by that design choice. Get wrecked! Oh! Okay, I'm wrecked. Yeah, good job. Wonderful. It is really hot in here, Thomas. It is so incredibly hot, dude. I'm, I'm out of water, too. Can someone watching Moose Pig or Lauren, can you fill up our water, please? Please? Bring me one, please? I love you. How did James get do? his job? I want to do what he does. He just travels all around all around all the time. I'd, uh, you'd have to ask James. James used to write reviews uh, for, I forget what, publication. Was it... Was it EGM? No, that was Brian Tahar. Oh. I'm down if joined again. I know some more stuff about CFDs last time. Yeah, I mean, we might do it. Can you imagine an Insomniac Games G.I. Joe game? Uh, I suppose. I could see that happening. G.I. Joe? I don't know. I don't know if that fits our mold. That's, that would, that seems a little... Seems a little... A little odd, but I mean, I don't, it doesn't seem like... I don't know if I could imagine it, though. Yeah, but it's not a, like, straight up no. I could never imagine it, either. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Maybe. I'll ask Ted. Hey, I'm not going to answer my question. What was your question? You guys act like I, I can read everything. I'm not I'm not that good. I try. I do my best. I agree, actually. Anthem needs another six months to a year. Yeah, I mean, you know. When's the next Overwatch stream? How do I jump up on ledges again? Uh, triangle, before you hit the ledge. But I, don't, I think you're too low there. You gotta get closer I, I to it. I think I can do this. I think go on the higher one to your right. Try that. Or gum from that other one. There you go. Nope. No. Uh, you hit the wrong button. Triangle's really weird to hit while fighting. General Kenobi. Hey, Anastasia's here. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, I don't. I just realized. Some that. would say that about us that we're actually streaming again. You nice. Let me a straight though. I didn't let you astray. I said you might have to. That's what I said. But now you got to go back there and get the gems because you left too early. I know. Why are you going to get blown up? So. What's going on? It's 82. So you did read my message. How about you... Can you give us some water, please? Please. We're dying. We're withering away in here. It's like an oven. It's so hot in here. I, I feel like I'm like on the beach. I bet it's way hotter in here too. I bet it's like 86 or something in here. I don't know, but I might have to start taking some shoes off or something. Yeah. I love it watching. Though the the temp the thermostat is right next to her desk. Woo, Thomas. <laughs> Are you sweating? Yeah, I'm sweating. Are you sticking to the? No, thankfully we didn't buy a leather couch. Didn't get a leather or couch. pleather couch. This keeps kicking me? What do you mean? What is hey, this? Hey, speaking of Anthem, I just saw a news story. Kotaku says Anthem's level 1 weapons are stronger than endgame ones thanks to an apparent bug. <laughs> Sounds like a bad bug. Yeah. What is an easy way to beat Nasty? Uh, in the first game where you chase him, uh,. I don't know if there's an easy way. I, I I don't have an easy way. I just chase him, and I cut the corners pretty quickly. And you have to stay close enough to him that... Uh, how many times do you have to hit him? Three times? I think it's three times. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I told you it's hot in here. Thank you so much. It's Come say hi. It's not getting hot in here. It is hot in here. Um, Hi! We're not going to finish that song. We're not going to finish the song? Oh, you're singing Nelly. It's so nice. It looks so much nicer. It does look nicer. The lighting looks so much better. That door opening right there just made it like 10 degrees cooler in here. 
When you're watching it too, it looks nicer. Oh wait, you guys you put up all the things. You feel the breeze. Yeah, we put up sound dampening. Less of, less of an echo. You guys what should invest in What is the easy way to fan. beat nasty? Yeah, we should. I already read that one. It is actually really hot in here. I See? We weren't lying. Like it, it doesn't help with all the lights and everything. We can and definitely... Well, but they're LED lights. I think the problem is there's no airflow because those are not turned on. If there was airflow, we have a return duct there, and it should circulate better, but because the AC's broken... Oh, it's so gross. This whole side of the building is hot, but it's know. extra gross in here. Yeah. I know. But you know, it says 82 on that. You're really like... <laughs> And his face is like flushed. Yeah, it's it's intensely hot. Yeah, but it feels great with the door open. Uh, maybe we just leave it open the rest of the stream. It's um, broken because of Tim. It's not broken. Why? Because of me. Hey, is that Jack? It's. I'm saying it's broken because of Tim because. Lauren, it's Jack Hi, on YouTube. Hi, Jack. Who's Jack on YouTube? Uh, it's Jack. It's Jack, Jack K. Jack Knighton. Why is he on YouTube? Why not? I don't know. Nerdette. Uh, they're calling you nerdette. Interesting. They called us nerds, so... So I'm the nerdette. I got you. Um, it's like Toad and Toadette. The and gang. Peach and Peachette. No, wait a minute. That didn't work. When do we? When do I get to play a scary game? Soon? Yeah, we need, should probably stop playing lava levels, according to Billy. What? Oh. Hey, I got hit! Um, that was no! super gross. No hitting me! It's super hot. I'm dead. It, does it not feel better now that the door's open? It feels way better. Like, a dramatic difference. God. Like, way better. What did we do, Thomas? Mm -hmm. They need to put the thermostat in here, and they need to fix the AC so that it actually oh, blows. Oh, it's broken because of Tim, because he had the studio made. <laughs> so I'm blaming him. Oh. <laughs> that's that's why I said it's Tim's fault. I disagree. I uh, disagree. Also, the couch looks crooked on stream. Does it really? It's just because yeah. I'm... No. I don't know if it's like just because No, it's because we're pushing the cushions down and the middle cushion's not pushed down. If you lean back against this cushion and push it down, it won't look as crooked. I think it's just like... I might be the way Tim is sitting. Well, I'm also you, relaxed. He's like, he's like... I'm just oh. relaxed. I'm just chilling. <laughs> and you're like... This comfortable proper. couch. Just just squishing my phone. I didn't touch Am I phone. sitting proper? Well... You're sitting like more I'm proper. slouching a little bit. You're more proper than Tim. We bought a good couch, I'm gonna use it. Now that is weird. That's weird. <laughs> this is how I would be at home. <laughs> really? Similar. <laughs> Probably. When I play games at my house, because I only have like a bed with my TV, I like lay on my stomach and I like lift my head up and then I like immediately regret it because I do it for too long and you know like... Right. Yeah. You ever been hungry, but you're laying down and then you got like, but you gotta get up to eat the food and then you're like, nah. I'll just starve. Mm. Yeah, that sounds like not you. Yeah, uh, I think I would get up me. and get the food. <laughs> I'm like, nah. <laughs> okay. Are you guys good? I'm gonna head back. Yep. Yeah, Thank we're you. Good. Do you want me to leave the door open? Um, what do you think, Thomas? Want me to leave it cracked? I mean, it's not like we're being loud. No, you aren't being loud. I think we can leave it open. I'll listen as long as someone doesn't say something walking by, and then, then we have a whole problem. Oh, that's true. Oh yeah, shut up. Okay. No, it's fine. Do you want to leave it cracked? Leave it open. Okay. Bye, Put everyone. a sign up on the door that says, We be streaming. You guys sent an email. Oh. Bye, You're everyone. You're right. So Is when are you guys going to finish playing R2? I can walk and not like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? So nice. What is R2? Oh, Resistance 2. Uh, I thought we finished that game, didn't we? No. No, we didn't beat Resistance 2, I don't think. We beat Resistance 1. Is it a screen proof? It's not screen proof. Bye. Why, where are you going? Anastasia didn't say anything. She just says bye. 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 Hey, it's Chad. The door is cracked because of the temperature. Mm hmm. Ask Thomas instead. No, I was saying bye to Lauren. No. What? Oh. Ask me what. I'll be sure. 
to answer it because Thomas answer. answers all the questions. Try to answer all the questions I can answer. What are your opinions of the state of the housing market right now? Coming, this is coming from someone who lives in Scotland. Oh, hey, we're going. We're live. We had the door cracked because it's hot as crap in here. Like the door actually helps being open. Carrie, you can come in. It, you might scare people with your clean face. Oh yeah. Come, come sit. Let me jump in. We're, we're just playing a. Uh, Carrie, if you don't remember, last time you played Apex, you you had the glorious beard. Now no longer do. So it's weird because I'm clean shaven. because uh, North Carolina usually you can't get rid of beards in North Carolina. It's hard. They just kind of like attach to your face. It took a while to shave it off, to be honest. It's a lot of work. What do you guys plan? Good Spiral. lord, that's a well-lit set. Yeah. Well, thank you, Corey and or Justin. I think it's Corey, because he helped light us. Probably Corey. Seems like a Corey comment. Corey was the one who uh, who helped us tweak our settings. Playing some Spyro, huh? Yeah, I think we need yep. bigger TVs in here, because Ooh, being farther away, it's a little harder to see. But... I think also once the AC works, it won't be as miserably hot in here. Hopefully. Have you played any of this? Oh, the new one. You know we have. No. You know we have full, big size mug coffee. They're carry sized coffee mugs. Yeah. Right? So yesterday I had one of those, and I went to do something with about this much left in my cup, and from using this size for years, I like was used to it being a certain height mm -hmm. and like hit it out of my own hand and spilled it everywhere. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I'm talking about, Tim. The force of habit. No, Thomas is worried about it like falling over because it's, he thinks it's too small on the bottom. I disagree. Yeah. Or I just don't you like could change. just get better eyes. Mm. No, I think we need a bigger TV. Oh, hello. Hey, Seven it's Billy. Just feel the heat coming off. That's why we have Here. the door open. Sub me out, Billy. I'm the, going back to work. This used to be an ice box in here, and then the yes, AC yes, broke, yes. and now it's an yep. oven. It's so incredibly hot. That's because there's no circulation. Like, there used to be air coming out. Thanks, Carrie. Okay, we're just going to rotate so people. Everybody's just going to come through because the door is Carrie. open. I'm wearing my sweatshirt. Yeah, I wouldn't. you're not going to last it's, very long in here. No, I've got this cold drink that I'm just going to hold on to. It's It's been dramatically approved with the door open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was hotter. When Lauren first walked in here... It was bad. Yeah. It's still, like, not great in here, but it's just no, no. pretty warm throughout the office. He's busy. He's busy. I love how when Corey talks with the Insomniac Games account, I see every message on every channel. Oh, man. What? What, remaster? <clears throat> if you did an Iron Man PS4, would you add a multiplayer team versus big villains like Fin Fang from? Of course. Thin fang food, what the? I think. I know, but it's I got just eight. from... Yeah. This guy ate me. <laughs> the bagpipe music in this level is amazing. Yeah, I do love the dancing. Although it gets a little annoying six times over. I like the way this level looks. I wish they could have... Wow, that looks really good. Mm -hmm. This whole game looks good. Yeah. Have you seen much of it? or? Uh, just what you guys have streamed. It's incredible looking. Just imagine... If we actually would have made the game like this back then, how amazing that would have been. Mm. We would have been breaking down barriers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, uh, we kind of were. I mean, with the draw distance and everything that we were using. Like Al, apparently, there was a whole thing about how we had one of the best draw distances for like the uh, vistas. Oh yeah, with Spyro. I wonder um, if this is what people's like nostalgia like. Vision makes them think that they saw the game as well. Uh, Maybe like if you remember the game looking like this good, I think people did because I go back and played it on PS. I have I have the PS One version on PS Three, which is basically the same game, and I remember playing it. And I just like when even when you change to the blocky Spyro, mm -hmm. it just I don't know. I'd rather play with these graphics as much as I love the original. Yeah. I, I like playing with the better looking graphics. I think this looks better than what I remember. I, I played the original at the time, and I thought it looked good at the time, but I this is just like a whole other level. Are there any big like gameplay alterations, or is it basically mm, the no, same No, just game? the stick. The only difference is the camera. Yeah, you can, you can do that. The camera. 
Did they uh, not have that one? Like the you, third one? Nope. I think it was oh. just it was purely behind his back. Huh. No, yeah, you could. No, no, no. You could move the camera with the thumb pad. Oh. Or not the thumb pad. The um, D pad. But it was like very hard to. Or no, excuse me. It wasn't the D pad. It was the bumpers. I think. Hmm. There so was some. We, there was something you could do, and it was kind of so you could line up your. What was dodging then? Because dodging's in the bumpers. Uh, maybe that's what. There was something. I forget what it was, but you could also hit the triangle button and look still in the old game. Hmm. Yeah, that came over into the first ratchet. Which had, like, look mode. Yeah, I'm so glad we don't need look mode anymore in games. <laughs> kind we of, like, unnecessary with a, a right analog yeah. stick. But exactly. at the end of the PS1 life cycle, they had, like, the first DualShock controller. Yeah, I remember getting those. I had the first, um, like, dual analog before they put the vibration motor in there. Mm -hmm. And it was gigantic. Like, it was real, like, American-sized controller unlike the original PS1, mm -hmm. which was, like, super tiny, and fit my kid size hands that I had at the time. I guess I still have, like, kid size hands compared to I mean, Tim. How much did you grow since then? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it had, like, uh, concave thumbsticks, too, which was really nice. Um, L2, R2 moved the camera. Yeah, yeah. see, oh, okay. that's, that's, it was kind of annoying, because you had to, like, use those to line your, your flight up. Concave. Is that like the boomerang? Remember the boomerang concept controller? Oh, for, for the PS3? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That thing was funky. Everybody was like, oh no. No, uh, instead of like, because like the, I guess the current like PS4 ones kind of have like this an indentation in them. Mm -hmm. you, there's enough space for four <laughs> people in here. Did you... But we're only live for 13 more minutes. I know, I have to leave. Yeah. That's why I bought a bigger couch, Sean. I like it. This works out great. I like it. It does. Sean, you want to do your... We already confirmed a couple of rumors today that there's mm. DLC oh, man, coming. You took, you took my bit. There's Spyro DLC <laughs> coming. It's okay. Um, we've already confirmed that. Okay. What else did we confirm, Sean, uh, Tom? Uh, there was that another... you don't know what cows drink. No. I don't be know. Be serious. Uh, We're talking serious. about serious rumors they, here. They must drink water, right? Take my hand, Billy. Yes. Sean, ask them to take your hand I like did, you did. To, did you do did. that to Corey? Yeah, I just did. <laughs> yeah. He needed, he, I felt like he needed it in that moment. Nice. So, I feel like if I remove the pillows from this couch, we could fit five people on it. Probably not comfortably, but I think we, I can think get we could. Cozy. And there's plenty, of room for, more comfortable. there's plenty of room for chairs behind us now. I think we could. I could just have Thomas wander behind us in front mm -hmm. of the green screen. No. Yeah. Yeah. Thomas gets a couch seat always. See, I like Sean. Sean, okay, the Sean Rumor Mill, Spyro Wednesday. Yeah. So, he will confirm or deny, mostly confirm, any rumor... That is not related to Insomnia Games. Cows have eight stomachs. They do. Thomas knew that. I did know that. I mean, that's what he said. I, I want to let you guys know, too, that I'm trying a new natural deodorant, and I don't think it works. <laughs> <laughs> this is the wrong room so to be in, what but you'll, that smell you, you'll be the judge. Is it the Sean, crystals? You know this room is the hottest room in the <laughs> office right it's now. Not, it, so it's not a crystal. It's oh, actually okay. like some kind of cream it's a geode? thing. <laughs> I would say that it's it's just some leaves or something like that. It's mm. not super. Interactive. When do you know when the DLC is coming or not yet? Tuesday, the DLC for Spyro is coming Tuesday. Hey Sean, is it true that the Earth is flat? I think that Sorry, that's getting know. outside of yeah. games a little bit. Yeah, he he's more of a game expert. Yeah, I'm not really a a science person, I so mean, I would say in most games that the world that they're built on is flat. Yeah. All of our games have been flat. All those spherical worlds. Yeah. That's we did true. have those in yeah, uh, Ratchet. It is. So. And art imitates life. So the world is I flat. will believe... I will I will reveal, though... So I am not a science person. And mm -hmm. I'm acknowledging that. But I will reveal that the answer to that question about the flat Earth will be revealed on Tuesday. <laughs> By the way, I will point out, because someone actually was confused. What the... We did not make this Spyro game. Nor do we have anything to do with this Spyro game. So anything we say about this Spyro game is to be taken as knowing those things. Yeah. Uh, this is Sean no. confirms gaming rumors. You know he's just gonna get out of there. You can't kill him yet. No, I oh, just, you can. Yeah, I just killed him. What? Is it true that the sun's a planet? That. You know what I was thinking about the sun's a planet? I was thinking about Will Ferrell as Harry Carey on SNL, <laughs> going, "What's your What's your favorite planet? Mine's the sun." <laughs> 
Does anybody remember that? I do. I, I, I do. It's before your time. No, I remember. Okay, I just like saying that. Thomas is not as young as you think. He's just because he hangs out with Lauren does he's not just, make him he's young. Just, he's hale though, you know. He's I'm pale. Hale? Yeah. He is pale. From resistance. What? Hail? Oh, uh, the flying... See, that's... I mean, that's an easy one. The Pegasus... 56. The Pegasus DLC is coming very soon. I actually can't give a date on it. But, wow. yeah, so there are well, going to be... Really? Pegasus no DLC. dates? Yes. So, no. Wow. Is it coming to Red Dead it's Online? Limited, Red it's Dead? limited. I'm limited on information, but I can say that, yes, RDR 2 Online will have Pegasus. Is it going to be soon. premium currency only? I'm just going to go with a yes on that, because now, it's what my gut, my gut says. Will they have Pegacorns as well? I don't What's think so. Corny, it's like a Pegasus. Pegasus? I think that's going corny. a little isn't bit it, too outside of the picture. Isn't called a hippogriff? Picture. No. <laughs> Wait. No. <laughs> Something like that. Harry Potter A hippogriff is, exa is exactly what it sounds like. And yes, the DLC is coming on Tuesday. Wait, there's Spyro DLC coming on Tuesday. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> well, we've done it. No, we have nothing to do with Spyro. But we will confirm that it is coming on Tuesday. Is it true that Apex is better than Fortnite? Um... In what metric, I guess? That seems... See, I only reveal facts on here, and I feel like that's asking for an opinion. Yes. And I can't say. Yes. Sean only tells, speaks the truth. Yeah, I only speak the truth, and I'm, a, I'm this is fact-based journalism <laughs> that I do. Well, here. any more games from Insomniac Games like Spyro come to an, to or on Xbox? That, uh, that is outside. That like is, That is, like, breaking the only rule is that... Yeah, you can't confirm you can't or talk, deny Insomniac. Yeah, so we're not rules. talking about Insomniac. But we did have Sunset Overdrive on Xbox. And we did have, but that's not really like Spyro, so. G yeah. and GTA Sonic Online and upcoming Sonic DLCs. That's a really good question. I'm glad that people are still playing it. I know that there's still f a thriving community. I think that, are you a GTA Online? GTA Online? I, I'm not, but. Can uh, you pretend like you are? Just sure. Principle it's of agreement? So okay. much fun. So I, as, a, as a big as a big GTA, like what is the big ask that you have for it? Uh, You're well, the biggest I, fan I know. I know that there was a mod for the Exploding Galaxy phones. Right. Uh, is the Galaxy 10 also going to explode? That is mm. that is really close. Mm. But yeah. here's the deal. I think you'll like this more. Foldable phones. Mm. Will explode? That also explode. Nice. Yes. Now, is yes. it like Mission Impossible? Well, I can confirm that. I confirm them? that upcoming for GTA Online that they will have foldable exploding phones. Here's a fun one. I came back only for Billy and John, and John holds the scream to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Same phone. John, John Yednock is great, and he does hold the stream together. Your name. However, Sean McCabe, who The is... Burbank people only stayed because they wanted to listen to him? <laughs> I don't think that's true. We were talking about smuggling last week. We were talking about... Smuggling um, what? Lone Wolf McQuaid. Smuggling Christmas Con hams? Con contraband. We were talking about smuggling Christmas in, hams? Into the United States. Have you smuggled contraband? In sure, there? yeah. I brought some absinthe back from uh, Prague or something like that. It, what? That's not illegal here anymore, though, is it? No. Well, no, they had a certain version you were allowed to have. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's like fake. Yeah, yeah it's like it a did, fake version. It didn't make me see Mr. Spock. That's but I think they did do they did. the real version, finally. Same phone banned from chat. I Same phone's I... been getting banned a lot lately. I'll tell you that. You had a dream that you were a ratchet last night. That's pretty cool. I think. Can we expect for a shooter game or horror game? Yes. Someone will make one, for sure. That Probably. wasn't true, was real. Uh, don't play the inverse dream thing on me. I'm I had a dream last night. I'm wise to that. Did you guys watch Alien Isolation on IGN? What? No. I don't know what that means. Yeah. What do what you mean? mean? I, Is... played, I played that game. What but... do you mean on IGN? I don't get that. I don't get it. I think you should be banned for saying big chungus. Shh, Tom. Or uh, Sean. Sean, you have to you have to leave now. You've been banned. I yeah, can't yeah. Say, I can't say that. Do you know what that means? <laughs> no. It means something that uh, I didn't even know was possible. I was <laughs> guessing that that is the that is the preeminent um, like pit you, fighter from if you know what Mongolia. the definition actually is. To me, it's like how is that possible, and how does that feel when you have that. Who is my who is my favorite Scott? Oh, that's a really tough one. I think Sophie, mm -hmm. Sophie who works in our. You're supposed to say animation. Lewis. Oh. The correct answer is Lewis. I thought you but... meant like person named Scott. No, no, no. Scott. <laughs> no, Lewis my favorite, Scott. My favorite Scott, Scott is definitely Sophie. Lewis. My favorite Scott is Lewis. Sophie's the best. Mine's Doc Brown. He'd always say great Scott. 
Mm-hmm. But no, he's, he's not Scott, a yeah. Scott, though. No, I mean, I think I think oh, after, that joke doesn't work because he's I, not a Scott. I think it took thousands of years to produce Sophie Brennan, and so she's my favorite Scott. No, so here's the deal: when we were on stream, when I was in Burbank on stream, yeah, uh, Sophie was on. We were playing Mario Party, I think, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and Lewis was it Lewis? I think it was Lewis was was giving um, Scottish slang because Lewis is Scottish, right? And he was giving Sophie Scottish slang. For us to say, or was that a different stream? It doesn't matter. Maybe it was the stream of your dreams. No, I know there was a slang stream that we were reading, but I thought Sophie was the one reading it and telling us. Or maybe, maybe I'm no, thinking it's definitely Sophie. That would be yeah. a really that that I, I watched it. That sounds awesome. I'm so was that the that. one where he they said something about uh, being a master blaster was a bad thing or something like that? You know what? You know what one of the funniest it's, things I saw Sophie say on chat I think is that. She said, I'm feeling a bit wabbit, which means sick. Hmm. I know. That's great. Mm. Hey, Lewis, what was the thing? Like, literally no one in America knows what that means. So if she's you're, just like, like, chasing wabbits, you're... Yeah, she, no, she's like, I'm dead. wabbit. I wonder if it, it's, like, a, like, rabid? I don't know what it was. Remaster mm. was doing it, too. Remaster was also Scottish. But what was the thing that we were saying that was hilarious? My ancestors were Scottish. It, it was, like, like... <laughs> you look Scottish. Belie- believe it or not. Believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few scotch. You know, uh, so by the way, we hired a new community person who who we will have on stream. Yes, we did. Uh, who is also redheaded, and uh, so now since in a pattern, Lauren mentioned that there seems to be an abnormal amount of redheads at our studio now. Well, yeah. if you're talking about Thomas and Tyler, then yes, that might and Steph, that might be true. And Carrie, and Carrie James, Carrie James is true. Yes, yeah. there's a lot. So don't you put me put me in that because I am not redheaded. I just look like I should be. It's very very different. <laughs> well, you know, eyebrow color. So I read a statistic blonde. that well, I read a statistic that by some year supposedly See? I look like I should be, but I'm not. not supposed to exist anymore. No, it's true. That what? My but wife, like my wife's supposedly be the by last. a certain year, there's no not supposed to be redhead redheaded people anymore. Sean Connery being in true. Highlander but playing, a, playing a Spaniard. But our office proves that if we're going the opposite direction. That's an important here. question to ask, and I think that that is a fabulous decision. That is like... I think it's actually better than Kevin Costner and Robin Hood with no accent. I just... At no point was Sean Connery like, I'm going to do anything to get into this role. I'm just going to be myself and wear this ridiculous costume. Your rocket. That's what, they, that's what the slang was. What does your rocket mean again? They said something about... Oh... Uh, <laughs> Rude. <laughs> what did we ever do? What did so, we ever do to you, Lauren? I have a, a life-saving uh, uh, tip. Okay. I actually went to the oh. ER <laughs> this, that was good. this past Sunday <laughs> because I got some like food stuck in my throat. Yeah. Um, so the, the solution to that, which was like a trip to the ER and however many hundreds of dollars later, hmm. is ginger ale and jumping up and down. That's what they did in the hospital. That is what they did. Are you sure you and didn't that go worked. to a fake hospital? <laughs> uh, if, like, the Duke University Hospital is Wow, fake, that is incredible. That is what they did, and it worked. I'm glad you paid that copay. Best, and I felt way better. Best freaking doctors in the world. Yeah. That's... Well, I'm glad you're not dead, Billy. Yeah, me too. I, I don't think there was any threat of that. It was just, uh... It, I just couldn't swallow anything. Wow. It was really scary. Yeah, that's awesome. Did you eat your Did you eat your Vita? <laughs> no, just like with the like with the baby, I want to eat as fast as possible so that my yeah. wife has a chance to eat. Yeah, and uh, I guess I was just eating too quick. You're a better you're a better husband than me. <laughs> I'm All just, right. <laughs> well, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna throw that. On out that now. note, we got a minute left before uh, Burbank joins us. Uh, for Sean, one of the top definitions of blank is an overweight giant earth destroyer, god killing rabbit. It means it's basically a picture of a fat bug's bunny. You know, I think a really, really good bit as well would be teaching Sean about memes. Oh. Because I just, I just don't we, know. We do a, um, I don't get, know. We do a get off my lawn segment where I, I roll my eyes at all the memes that Thomas and Lauren talk about. <laughs> I like them. I'm not anti-meme. I just don't. What's the, like, most recent meme that you know? Is it, like, I can has cheeseburger? Or? No, it was, like, this <laughs> weird dancing baby. <laughs> the hamster weird. dance? Yeah. 
Oh, is that like the one from Ally McBeal? Yeah, I think yeah. so. The one they cool. used to like play in Blockbuster or yeah. something? Yeah. Yeah. Blockbuster is a meme by now. Like they just are closing the final store, I think. Yeah. Just there were still that. stores open. <laughs> yeah, there was like one store left. Oh my god. Well, there's they so they closed. It was like in Austria or something. They closed it. And now there's Austria. One, yeah, there's one in in like Oregon left, and that that's mm. the last one. All right, Corey and Justin need to come on soon, All and right. probably James. Uh, so it's good stuff. Uh, right. Where's my button? Oh. They got moved. We had so many guests. We had so many guests. Um, anyway, mm. so we're back. As you can tell, that's not the community mailbag anymore. We already did that. Um, to Friday. Friday, what are we going to do? What is Friday? We don't even have a theme for Friday yet. Oh, they're playing Ace fan Combat. Art. We're doing fan art. We're doing fan art on Friday. You're not playing Ace Combat today. You better be playing Spyro. I'm not a redhead. <laughs> I'm not a redhead. You do. You so look at you sitting next to Thomas. You kind of look like you're a redhead. Um, he's just. I'm. I'm gin not gingifying. Look me. how much no. better our lighting is. I'm now. not a redhead. I'm just red boned. Like just just looking at this amazing new studio that we have built. Anyway, we're, we're gonna sign off here. Yeah. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Uh, Burbank's coming on in in a second, so don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. I gotta remember where all my buttons are. Hold on. There it is. F you, Lewis. <laughs> Just whoa. like you, I know like, that, I know you said that, that means. You said that the Scarlet Hills that one time. She's like, "Whoa, what did I do to you?" Anyway, all right. Well, I, I misread the chat. All right, later. Bye. See you. Bye. <laughs>[no_transcription] Like, oh man, we've been doing all these flying missions in Spyro and getting our butts kicked. So we decided we'd play a flying game where we get to fly fighters. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be Porkins. You're Jack Porkins? Yeah. Well, that's good. Just dead right away. Yeah, crashing into everything. Yeah, see, same phone who just is like, yay, no Spyro. I was like, Tim, you're driving Spyro into the ground. What are you doing here? We can't do this anymore. Like, I'm sick of it. I'm not gonna play it anymore. Like, yeah, yeah, we've done it. We've done weeks of it. You guys were doing it while I was gone. Yeah. I didn't even have to do it the last three weeks. I'm going to plug uh, the question the mailbag on my phone. Lewis so Gillis, same chat. phone, who dis? Uh, something random on YouTube. I see a bunch of people. There's there's several. There's a couple, almost 300 of you watching at, on everywhere. Uh, Clarko says, lol, it says Spyro. I don't know where it says Spyro. Um, no, if you... Change the mid. Maybe I, I if you just refresh. Did. Go on the right there. It should say... Yeah. Ace Combat. It does. Yeah, so you, right you have to refresh your page. Um, I just updated it before we went live. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, community mailbag. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, those are nice designer glasses there. All right. Okay. People, um, but what, going Commando Remake, what are you talking about? I like these cinematics. I'm, I'm skipping the cinematics. Oh, cause they I just look want to nice. Fly. They do. They're very pretty. Okay. So here's a question from Puppet Show Justice. Okay, Puppet Show Justice. I what saw someone wearing a nice Insomniac Games t-shirt at the Lure Caverns over the summer. Do you guys sell shirts or was that a staff member? I considered say, trying to say hi, but I didn't want to disrupt someone's vacation. Also, if you guys do sell shirts, I want one. I love me some RNC. Oh, store.insomniacgames.com. Yep, store.insomniacgames.com. You can get some stuff there. There are certain shirts that are only for people in the company, but there are also shirts 
for people. Yeah, people got mad when I took the E3 shirt and we made it available to people. They were like, yeah. that was supposed to be for us. My so I was like, oh, like, come on. Yeah. And like, now, like, another thing I will say, don't worry about interrupting someone's vacation. If you see someone <laughs> with an insomniac shirt, just go yeah. right up to him and give him a big old bear hug and be like, courtesy of Wait, Justin West. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> I like the right. end of that. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Like, is that supposed to be in their ear and you're going to get a little spittle on their tongue? Is that... I don't care what you're talking about here. Is that... Ow. 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 My ribs. Yeah. He hurt his ribs on a motorcycle accident and now he's doing stunts on the stream. Oh, so man. Oh. oh, man. James, why? Oh. oh. That was not good. Oh, oh, Ow. Oh, Just Easy don't, there. Don't say my name when you do that, please. Don't say my name. Yeah, definitely you say do, Justin. Do your right. little thing. Just don't say my name. Oh, I think I scraped oh, up my. Like, no, can I scrape that up? Is it bleeding at all? Yeah, you got some hang time. I heard the wheel on the chair. Oh remote. yeah, ow, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay. Oh. The next question is from Keen Prime. <laughs> Man, Keen Prime, I thought you asked this before. What okay. are your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is Snorlax because it reminds me of my real life back in the day. <laughs> also, do you like pancakes? Wait, we didn't we answer that question already? Yeah, he's we did. The same I like pancakes, although you know Indonesian pancakes, which is what I have been eating, are not my favorite pancakes. Not as good as like the Dutch pancakes by any means. Um, uh, oh, no, I already got the briefing. Shit, why did I just <laughs> click that? All right. Um, um, well, wait, wait, what is his favorite Pokemon? Yeah. What's your favorite Pokemon? I went in depth about this. Chat, last what's week. your favorite Pokemon? I talked about um, Chansey because <laughs> of that film school story where I blurted yeah, out on Super Smash to like my whole yeah class. You can watch last week's stream for that. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I, but what did Justin say? Uh, I, I, mine is Charizard. Uh, Charizard. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like vanilla. You like vanilla ice cream, too, don't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I knew it! Hey, there's nothing wrong with the classics. That's why they're classic. <laughs> I just had to, like, give shit because that's hilarious. I love the HUD uh, in this game. It's very techy cool. It's right. been a staple well, in the series. Okay. All we have is an F-16. That's all you need, baby. That's nice. James just sounds sexy. Jesus, Kian Prime. <laughs> First it's my hair, now it's my voice. <laughs> Alright, so, something. next question from John Buck, 156. Knack, we'll see you later, Knack. Bye, thanks for watching. Hi, Knack. James, what was your favorite Pokemon? Did we get it? Uh, no, my favorite... Uh, oh, God, that's tough. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's a tough question. Yeah, it is a tough question. Mewtwo's um, cool, too. <laughs> what? Did you say Mewtwo? Mewtwo. Yeah. <laughs> about Mew One. I always like Psyduck actually. Psyduck, oh he's weird. cool. Like, yeah. like he's sort of funny. Cubone is heartbreaking. Uh, Pikachu. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that's Jesus. That might be more vanilla than what you yes. said. Yes. See, I'm okay. My vanilla is okay. Wow, I love the HUD. Man, yeah. this looks cool. I like yeah, how, like, this looks awesome. Color, the co uh, yeah, the glows and stuff. The color grade, like the yeah. The what? Oh, the there. color grade. Yeah. 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 All right. Take hey, it off. It's a nice knocker you got there. Um, Okay, John Buck asks, Ooh. inside of the backpacks of Marvel's Spider-Man are items meant for lore and world building. Is there any additional background info you can share about the villains who did not appear in the game themselves but had Easter eggs in the backpacks? Example, Lizard, Mysterio, Sandman, etc., etc. Um, I think all the info that we can share, we did. Mm -hmm. So... But we appreciate you diving deep into the lore of the backpacks and stuff like that. That's that's basically as far as we went with it. Alright. GZ183 asks, Any villains you wanted to use but couldn't? Also favorite spider villain. Wait. Tim's asking us to do the mailbag, but these are all old questions yeah. we already answered last week. This is not do a new mailbag. Wrong, do you have the wrong mailbag? No, there's not a new mailbag. Wait, so he didn't redo the mailbag? No. We answered this last week. It was, so um... I were confused. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what was the... It was, um... Modok. Modok is the villain we wanted to use. Okay, anyway. How about if you guys have questions, just ask them in the chat yeah. now and we'll respond there because the mailbag is dead on arrival. It's dead on arrival. Saying, don't Good crash job, the jet. So every time you shoot a missile, you have to say, Eagle 20, Fox 3. Alright, I got it. <laughs> That's from Independence Day. You're I shooting a passenger ship? It's a, no, it's a bomber. It's a bomber? Oh, okay. I thought it was like, um... The Malaysian Airlines or something. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, sounds like trouble in the Big Brother house. TM Prime asks how I am. God, I, I'm fine, except for the bruised ribs. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of... Oh, I see. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. 
Would you guys ever consider making a dark fantasy RPG? I'd say my life is a dark fantasy RPG. Is it? Oh yeah. A dark fantasy. Are they hiding in the clouds? Where are they? Um, a dark fantasy RPG. So, um, like Conan the Barbarian. Ooh, but I mean, other people are already making Conan the Barbarian. I would love to do that. I mean, I like dark fantasy as a genre. I like all that nerdy shit, you know, like mm -hmm. spell casting and and like. What is it like Bloodborne or something? Oh, yeah, like geez. Bloodborne. Yeah. All right, we have. I mean, and Spoken's got a little. Yeah. Of that, but it's obviously not RPG, but. That's like modern. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, I would totally be down for that. You know, I mean, we don't have anything there they are. like that now, but. Uh oh. Oh, that's sweet. How you had to go through the clouds to get them. Yeah. Your map is really big. Can you? Oh, okay. There you go. Ace Combat 7 has a surprisingly good story and surprisingly good dog JPEGs. Yeah, it's like some anime story. Oh. Uh, I gotta lock on. Yeah, you gotta get good tone. Need good, good tone. I should've watched Top Gun before we streamed this. <laughs> Just come with your bomb. Oh, we didn't wear okay. our bomber I got the need. The need <laughs> for speed! <laughs> <laughs> you ever play Top Gun on the NES? Oh, uh, I don't think so. You didn't play the Top Gun on the NES? I, I might have, I don't Dude. know. Missed out. Okay, I gotta take these bombers out. It Can you up. go into first person? Only in real life. I'm not really sure how to change the view. Oh yeah, can I've been that'd working. be cool. Yeah. I, was, I was messing with all the buttons trying to figure out how to do it. Oh, there, there we go. go. Oh, that's it? Oh, yeah, man. but I like Is seeing there another? Oh, I don't oh. know, this one's cool. No. no, that's too much shit on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> too much shit. Gotta catch up to the bombers, though. Cool jet stream. Yeah. Uh, you two are children? Yeah, that's basically... Mm. Wait. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's sweet. Nice! Oh, bye bye That was definitely some, like, um... Like, Gundam style, you know, where, like, they shoot out all the... Ten missiles yeah, at like, once. Not too shabby. You've got a long way to go, kid. I'll give you some pointers back at base <laughs> if you can make it in one piece. Tally, two bandits. Two bandits behind us. Let's do this. Uh, how do I tell if they're above or below is the real question. I think they're above me. Huh. Oh, there they are. Got them on radar. Uh -oh. Two MiGs. MIG. Two MiGs coming in. So MIG means it's Russian, right? Uh, yeah, maybe. I think those are Russian aircraft. I mean, TU-96 should be Russian, right? That's a tough angle. Ooh, you got him. Oh, two new enemy groups, though. Oh, no. Man, you're carrying a lot of firepower there. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Ace Combat games you typically carry way... It's not like a sim. Like, it's uh -huh. an arcade. Um, yeah. Like, you carry, like, 80 missiles. So, it's like you blow up tons of stuff. Um, but they're awesome. They're super fun to play. Mm -hmm. I feel like I actually might want to use my specials here um, to try and take as many of these out at once as possible. Because Whee! if I want to get over and help everyone with the other group, so I need to splash this them. group as soon as possible. You got three out of four or something like that. Yeah, there's one left. I do not know up dog. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, he's wanting oh, me to say, oh, what's I'm up, dog? Right. Come on, Key and Prime. Oh, shit. Alright. Those targets are done. Now we gotta get a good deal with this other bomber group. Have you guys heard about this Michael Jackson dog? Oh, there's a MIG. I think I get an ignore Yes. I guess it's just kind of saying things we already knew, but... Yeah, it's like a whole, there's this whole controversy, because the guy who, one of the guys who did it, who was like friends with the family for like all these years or uh -huh. something, and then he just decided like, ah, I'm just going to tell everyone, but <laughs> I'm just going to blur everything uh -huh. out. But I guess he's like contradicting what he said. He's like previously went on TV and said things that like, 
you know, Got everything's it. okay. Uh-huh. Like, I, like, there's nothing weird going on with Michael, and then, like, in this thing, he says, like, oh, there's all this shit going oh, yeah. on, you know? So there's, like, this kind of controversy. Lewis Gillis asked you to ban Gian Prime. <laughs> Don't, we've thought about it every day, man. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, Fizzy's talking. He knows the game grunts. Very dead stream. Well, the chat might be dead, but there's people watching. Ask us questions. We're here. We're talking. Corey and them will certainly... Actually, I just took a vow of silence for Bali. Yeah. Oh, oh, it is Niepi in Bali today, yeah. which is the day of silence on Bali. So the airport's closed. You can't check in and out of your hotel. If you're a tourist, you can't leave. I mean, no one can really leave their house. If you live in a small village, there's not really any police to stop you from leaving your house and going to other places in the village, but... Oh, they got a question for you, Justin. Um, same phone who dis my. Yeah. What's, what's some of your favorite lenses slash manufacturers? Um, well, I've only used um, mostly like Canon lenses, uh, some Sony lenses. Um, I would say Canon's pretty good. Uh, we also use like Rokinon lenses. They're more like affordable mm-hmm. cinema lenses, so. They may not be like the bet, but they still look pretty good and they work really well and they're affordable. Yeah, they're good prime yeah. lenses to get that um, shallow depth of field. Of the, mm-hmm. They got the F, what is it, at 1.8? Well, they got a 1.2, does it? 1.4? Yeah. So they let in a lot of light, they get really shallow depth of field. Yeah. So this is use expert control. Definitely worth it if you're looking for something affordable for like a cinema lens or in a prime. But yeah, I like Canon. Canon's great. Like zooms, L series zooms and stuff. I don't know what you're talking. I don't see how there's ex- what is expert controls. Oh, okay. So I might have I uh, when we oh there you go. Uh, when we started the game, I chose standard, and then there's expert. I didn't know what yes, you wanted. Yes, to I understand now. Yes, yeah. thank you. That is better. Uh, all right, good. I can handle that. Yeah. What does he say? Yeah. I'm very good. Nah. That is way better. Thank you. Um, yeah, same phone who just those are those are good. I I, um, I use the twenty four to one hundred five all the time, and I enjoy that lens. Uh, Kian, we were joking. Uh, mostly. Do I actually have to go back to base? Did we eat Subway? Not just uh, the accident. No, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Yeah. Wait, do I actually have to go back to the base? I think I may have to. Where's oh man, I remember oh, landing is like the hardest part. Yeah, in any flying game. <laughs> and you say you haven't played Top Gun on the NES. Uh, well, even in Top Gun, a big plot point of the uh, movie was that it, sometimes people freak out and they can't land. Uh, yeah, we don't need Subway's gross. Sorry yeah, to say, I, like I, Jersey I just, Mike's for the win. If I want a sub sandwich. I'm not gonna patronize Subway anymore since Jared left. <laughs> Uh, um, thanks for the thanks, Eric Derwald on Facebook. Uh, yeah, I I actually bought this game just for the VR thing. Yet I have yet to do the VR VR. Oh man, I think uh, I would get really sick playing this game in VR. There's a whole like VR campaign, like special VR campaign. I really want to do it. I, I'm not gonna drag my VR stuff in here though to do it. Like I I actually ordered a new Nintendo Switch dock so I could stop unhooking my Switch dock to bring it here so there could be a permanent dock here because I'm so Ooh, s- nice. sick of disconnecting it and shit. Well, that's nice. So, you want to fly, anyone want to fly a mission? Sure, I'll fly a mission. You know what you're doing? You're not going to, like, make it bad? Uh-oh. So, what is this? Is this, like, real-life Russia? Uh, well... Actually, they look more like America and I'm Russia. Am I Osea? I think you're Osea. Osea looks like Russia. Yeah. Uh... I don't know. I don't think you're you're Russia. Aren't you the other people? Oh, jeez. That's... My my dad says this is no fun without real G's. Because my dad's watching the stream. Tell us some <laughs> secrets about um, Area 51, sir. Uh, he knows, right? Sir. No, I don't think he knows anything. Dude, better. I gotta say, <laughs> the whole concept of NORAD is really oh, cool. Shit, I all right, you. and that's cool. That yeah, I, wasn't I love NORAD. I did hurt myself. Oh, you did. You're bleeding again. He's he's cut open there. 
Oh, look, over here, too. Look at that. My, my grandpa was in... Um, he served in World War II. Like, I knew that. Other hurt. than that, I have no military in my family. Yeah, look at that. But, um... Look, I'm bleeding on the stream. That's pretty cool. Family. Oh, yeah, you do? Uh... Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm James's dad. James's dad. I never met you, but I, I think of you whenever I watch movies involving the Air Force. <laughs> oh God. Uh, it's not Area 51. You need to worry about it. it's Area 52. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Dallas Gilkerson says he hasn't stopped playing Spider-Man since it came out. Well, thank awesome. you for playing it so much. Uh, Lewis Gillis says, I'm just showing everyone my battle wounds. Yeah, this don't ride motorcycles when you don't know how to do it, kids. Uh, okay, I'm just going to play. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Someone asked about McDonald's. I'll still eat McDonald's. Yeah, Certain I'll things. Ramen on then, yeah. yeah, you know, their, their soft serve is delicious. Mm -hmm. Big Mac's pretty good. Apple pie, uh, baby. Apple pie. But, you know, what was really great was the cherry pies back in the day when they still had oh. cherry pies. Those were delicious. Love this UI. This is so good. Uh, is this a horror show or a game stream? Says Scarlet Heels. Well, right now it's kind of a horror show, honestly. You want me to do The Exorcist? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I do some Exorcist impressions if you I'm want. Just impressed. I, I like, thought this had healed you know, up, or I wasn't going like to bleed, bleed anymore. But I think I scraped it up pretty good. There's probably like blood on the inside of this too. It's great. We were playing Ace Combat 7 Unknown Skies on PlayStation 4. We're not playing the VR mode because mainly I'm pretty lazy and I don't want to disconnect all my VR stuff and bring it to the office. It's all wired up nicely. Um, and really we just, we were annoyed by the Spyro flying missions so we decided <laughs> we were going to play our own flying missions where we got to fly like actual jet fighters. Sure. Now I've liked Ace Combat since PS1 days, and the crazy thing about that was I remember on the PS1, it was in the middle of the competition between the F-22 and the F-23 when the U.S. was trying to pick its next fighter. So like Ace Combat 1, those were like the two best planes, were like mm -hmm. the YF-22 and the YF-23, which were like the prototypes of each of those, while they were still deciding between the two of them, and those were like the best two planes you got at the end of the game, or the best and fastest, mm -hmm. but I liked the F-23 better, and then it didn't win, and it made me very sad as a kid oh. that they chose the F-22. Oh, can, do we have other aircraft now? No, it doesn't down? look like it, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, that's the other problem. I had the original PSVR. It doesn't let you pass HDR. So, like, I have to unhook it if I want to have HDR on my PS4 games, and it's really... The new one does. But you can't just get the new box. You have to get like the whole, you have to redo the, you have to get another headset and everything. Even though it's, it's the exact same thing, just lets you actually pass the HDR without oh, unhooking your headset. Yeah, it's like oh. a yeah, so you can press the touchpad okay. to change your radar screen, and then you roll. Okay, that's look. That's okay. roll. Roll. Yeah, and, and then, then you pull up and down. So you roll yeah. and pull up and down to turn. Makes sense. And, and then, then speed up with that. With R2. Okay, so can my afterburner, like, can I stall? Is it like real, like, if yeah, I so just, you can't stall. Imagine like, like this, I'm just gonna stall eventually. Yeah, so right? it'll start saying stalling, stalling. Okay. And you have to either use your afterburner or. Okay. You're, you're coming up on enemies, though. If I get really stressed that's out. Your, that's your target down below that radar vehicle, so you need to. You need to lock on and fire missiles. What's a missile? Square? Circle. Circle. You can press square real quick. No, that changes. Don't use that. Circle, yeah, use circle. Am I locked on? Uh, no. How do I lock on? I don't know. It was... I should... <laughs> I don't know. Uh... It tr How do you lock on? I mean, those are ground targets. Were you not paying attention to your briefing? <laughs> Correct. Yeah, that explains it. Dude, stop firing all your missiles. I don't know how to lock on. Lock. On. No, I, you just generally you just target it, but you may need to. Do, there you go. Yeah, it says you're locked onto an enemy when the indicator around them is red. Yeah. Well, I was pointing right at the thing, and it never. <clears throat> Are you having problems? 
Well, this is what happens when you play the second level without playing the first level. All right, oh, there you, you go. You've got to clear. See, there I, you go. There's red. Oh, well. No, that was just a pull-up warning. I think uh, I got him. I don't think you got it. It was. I thought it turned red for a second. I gotta get up high. Okay, there we go. See, like, how am I not locked onto this guy? Huh? Did I get him? I don't. I don't think you should use your guns. Maybe. These. And you're using your really good missiles right now too. By the way, not your. These ones are the ones I want to use instead. Yeah. So you're saying I should just machine gun these guys? Maybe. I don't know. Scarlet Heel says you're doing fine. Woo! There you go. Ooh. See? Ah! Oh! We're in for some chop there. <laughs> what? Oh! Mission failed. Oh my god. Uh... Switch weapons to hit ground targets. Switch back to standard missiles. Oh. Well, you know, hey, I was learning. Alright. Not in range to radar lock. Oh. Uh, well, I don't know. You're pretty close, but... Hey, so, James's dad, <laughs> do you like that movie True Lies when um, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he, like, gets in the Harrier and he just takes off and they're like, hey, hey, you're gonna need to sign for this. He's like, don't worry, he has 100 hours in the cockpit, and he's like struggling to take off, and he finally does it. And uh, but he's like crashing into stuff, like as he's taking I'm off. Sure my dad hated True Lies, probably just for that reason. Well, because I mean, it's obviously insulting to think that you know you could like pilot one of those with such limited experience. But I got a kick out of it. I thought it was cool to see Harriers, like real Harriers, being used in the movie, and like seeing them float around like that. But. Um, I could also see the side where if you're into the authenticity and that movie's kind of making a mockery of that, then that might upset you. <laughs> oh! He responded. What did he say? No, I'm, no, a, I'm a realist. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> told you. <laughs> I told you you yeah. hated that movie. Well, uh, okay, that makes sense. I mean, you know. <laughs> Nothing grinds my dad's gears more than when like something super unrealistic happens in yeah. like a movie. Uh, I could see that. I could see that. I mean, in, in my case, you know, like the closest I ever get is when I go was down. It, to, what was the Nick Cage movie where they, um, where Con they, Air? Yeah. He, oh, that I, movie's he ridiculous. He hated that movie. Yeah, that movie's like, ridiculous. Like, what does a B2 bomber? Yeah. Like, uh, you can't, there's no space in there for yeah. that. What are they talking about? Anyway. Or in Goldeneye when he, he rides a motorcycle off the cliff to chase the plane that's falling and then he gets inside of it and pulls up before it crashes into the mountain in the intro of Goldeneye. That's pretty intense. Yeah, but James Bond movies are supposed to be that kind of stuff. But True Lies was James Cameron making a James Bond movie. Well, true. <laughs> Just, you know, James Bond's a lot, it gets away with more because it's like, more yeah. I don't know. He well, because he's suave, whereas Arnold Schwarzenegger is like, you know. Oh, they put me in this tuxedo. I'm just going to flex out of it. I mean, if you if you made Schwarzenegger a James Bond, he would be one of the the... Oh, jeez. Oh! oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry. I got it under control here. Um, if you put him in a James Bond movie, he would be, like, he would be what, like, top four James Bonds? Maybe number three? Well, Sean Connery is number one. Right. Pierce Brosnan is number two. Oh, I don't know about that. But probably. I don't know. Yeah, James, you got to lock on the target. Say. Oh, because you're close enough, right? Your dad says um, a caveman, flying a jet is so easy a caveman can do it. <laughs> is it? <laughs> well, he's being sarcastic. Oh, no. <laughs> Only TGT targets need to be destroyed for completion. All right. Thank you. That's fine. Have we seen the Bright Burn trailer? No. No. Oh, Corey, there's another. They already got. Ari Aster's already got the second movie coming out. Yeah, second I know. Arm, did you see it? Midsummer? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm excited. I want to see it. Mm. <laughs> or actually, I don't know. I want to see the trailer at least. Oh, uh, okay. Whoa! Oh, wow. So your dad likes Daniel Craig as the second best Bond, and then Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. But he agrees Connery's number one. 
Yeah, see, I, I, I think I might be on Daniel Craig number two, too. Really? Yeah, I think so. I think that he's a good performer, and I like his rendition and stuff, but I, I'm i not thrilled with the, the recent James Bond movies. I know they're a bit more uh, realistic and less fantastical than the old ones, but I kind of like the fantastical stuff. Oh, man, those, ah. those wires. God, I, can, I just missed it. Uh, same phone who did says, to be honest, I've hardly seen the older James Bond movies. You should go back and watch them. They're mm. awesome. They are pretty cool. Yeah, the old James Bond movies are rad. Uh, I... Ooh! No, no, that'll do it. God damn it. You can okay, try it. here I go. I'm gonna... That's gonna be me in two seconds. Here's the trick. When you bank... Yeah? Pull up. Yeah, yeah. yeah keep yeah, an eye on your horizon. Yeah, yeah. And don't I bank that up. I going that downwards. Up. I screwed okay, that up. I'm just gonna retract from the last check. Dude, that is bloody... Point. Yeah, and it's got some blood there. So what happens? Even a week later, still bleeding. All right. So what switch weapons? Okay, square switch weapons. Yeah, you don't Circles need to, missile. Yeah. L one and R one is your fin tilt thingy. Kim Prime, go. stop trolling. What's the tilt do? Makes me turn. It, it that, drifts that, you it, this you way. Roll, like this. And then, oh. well, then you got to pull up into the turn, right? Mm -hmm. So you like you roll and then pull back. Yeah, the yeah. That's how you turn like that those ways, yeah. Oh, like okay. change your angle. Alright. And then circle shoot your missile, X is shoot your machine gun. Nice run. It wasn't a nice run, it was terrible. I crashed in the thing. I should have gotten more height and hit stuff from above. I shouldn't be flying that close to the deck. I'll do better next time. Oh, yeah. has your dad seen um Cliffhanger? Where there's the the plane and there's the other plane and they put a, a line between the two of them and they like um, they 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 zip line down to the other plane and hijack it. Has he seen that? Uh, I don't know. Where's was Kim. <laughs> Fire circle circle. You got a lock. There you go. And it goes red like that. You're good. Oops. Scarlet Heels said he's trying to be nice. Yeah. Well, thanks. Yes, I mean James's dad. James's dad was in the chat for a little bit. Uh, I thought he was texting me, but it was just Twitter. There you go. Fire circle, circle. Oh, oh boy. Target now. Circle, circle, circle. I think I did, but forced myself to forget it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. Uh, uh oh, watch out! Watch out! You got power lines. Oh, AJ Lucas says they did something in Air, similar in Air Force One with Harrison Ford. I love Air Force One. Oh, yeah. It's like the first R-rated movie I saw in oh. a the theater. Get off my plane. Yeah. So good. So bad, but so good. I don't think that movie aged well. Um, Probably not. Like, that was one of those movies that seemed really cool at the time, but... Do you think Gladiator... Oh. <laughs> oh man, man! You're in a fighter, not a crop duster. What oh are you doing? God. Not a crop duster. Oh my god! Oh. Yeah, I can. I think you're the only person who's glad I'm back. Don't worry, I'll be gone again soon. Uh oh, someone's got a missile lock on you. Oh, that'll do it. Oh All wow! Right. <laughs> this rolls right into the ground. That was fun. And then the missiles hit right behind too. Oh, uh. Uh, Kill confirmed. Uh, retry mission. Okay, here we go. So, I have 70 of these missiles, so these are going to be the ones I'm going to use yeah. first. Yeah. Don't okay. leave, James. Sorry, i got to go see the cherry blossoms. It's not my fault. And I have to go to South by Southwest next week, and then I have to go to GDC. A lot of stuff happening. I really only have, like... Here Friday, here Monday, Wednesday next week, and then I'm here Monday. I only have four shows left in the next four weeks. Mm. Although we're not even gonna do shows from here next week because you guys are gonna be in North Carolina. Yeah. Yes, that's true. It's only gonna be North Carolina shows. 
So really, I have like one more show, or two more shows, Friday and then Monday, and that's it, of GDC week, and those are the last two shows I have before I'm out to you. Oh, I should, yeah, you can't even do, I'll have to tell Ryan, I just realized it. Uh, okay, I need a good tone here. <laughs> Radar lock makes you self mort. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Uh, you know, a while ago I went to an indie film set to take some pics, and it seemed like they didn't really need me there, but I sent the pics anyway, and now a year later I discovered they used a couple of my pics on the poster without crediting me or paying me properly. Screw them. Well, you were on their set, right? Why did you, why were you on their set to begin with, same phone who dis? Uh... Scarlet Heels, they're not going to Durham just to stream. They're going to Durham for other stuff. But um, while they're there, they might as well stream, you know. Come on, lock on, baby. Well, you got a target right down there to the right. That one. Oh. There you go. There you go. Woo! Let's go over here and come back around for that one. Uh, so, okay, my right. job role is the community director, but basically Locked that means that, bad boy. that I yeah. do all sorts of marketing, PR, community-related stuff. So, Twitter, and uh, dealing with our publisher, dealing with these two guys right here, making sure we... Uh, uh, get all of our stuff out, so all those like cool trailers and things that you're looking for. Uh, working with publisher to understand where we are in the game and uh, on the marketing side, and, and creating you know our plans and all sorts of other things. I don't know. It's there's all sorts of stuff that I do. I get that guy? No, he's still on the radar. Web store related stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna try oh. another pass. <laughs> hey, I gotta go fly for real. See you, son. <laughs> James, bring that disco. I like how you said, see you, son, James. Like, well, <laughs> like, uh, are you saying someone else is your son <laughs> here disco. and I'm James? Bring that disco next time you come. Alright, yeah. <laughs> Send me a copy, Pops. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> yeah, see ya. Nice talking to you. Apparently, my dad wants to fly planes during the day and then go fly planes at night. Although they don't really let him actually fly the planes anymore. He gets to sit in the back. Ooh, that is just bloody. I'm flying a jet? That sounds so cool. Uh, J3553L33 says, regretting not buying this game yesterday. Yeah, you should be. Go buy it today. Oh, he just said bye. Bye, Dad. See you later. Love you. Uh-oh. So someone's got tone on me, huh? Yeah, someone's got tone on you. I think you missed that target, too. Yeah, I did. Use your guns, man! Alright, I'll make another pass here. Alright. This is so much better than playing Spyro right now, let me tell you. Love Spyro, but... Done Warning. Shit, no, missile alert. Oh, missile coming. Nice shooting. See? See? Guns, baby guns! Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, so now we go over here. Alright. Come to Papa. Nice. Oh, shy as bot. There's gotta be a countermeasure. Oh! Oh, no! Oh! It's okay, I've stabilized. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to get Mortal Kombat 11? Um, maybe. Where's this other target? I'm sure the we're fighting game me, huh? gurus here will be into it. Oh, look, there's a whole airfield. Oh, look at that missile shot. Yeah, but it missed. I know. It sucks. It's pretty close. All right, here we go. we got to get some altitude quickly here. Far Cry New Dawn is out? When did that How does someone that? have a missile lock on me when I'm flying like this? Seriously. Because missiles don't care. You're about to get hit again. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, oh you're on fire, Corey. Ah. Eject, eject. Oh, you're fine. 
Where's my horizon? I'm all discombobulated. Whew. Took some major altitude here. Yeah, you're at nine. Okay, here we go. Oh, another missile. Uh, I'm okay, I'm okay. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna come out of the sun at this guy. There's enemy MiGs. <laughs> I'm gonna come out of the sky at this guy. You recognize his MiGs, right? That's fine. Okay, that's who's shooting at you. It's fine, I gotta get this guy here. <laughs> coming in right from the sun, he'll never see me coming. <laughs> You're going straight into the ground here. <laughs> I don't know. Did I kill the target? Yeah, you got it. Nice. Look at those MiGs, though. You sure you don't want to take out the guys that are trying to shoot you down? Oh, those guys right there. Ooh, look at that. Someone spat on the camera. Oh, that was from going through the cloud, huh? Uh-huh. Warning. Some particles. Yee. Evasive maneuvers. Grant would love that. <laughs> oh, okay, so there's a the guy shooting at me, huh? Like that guy there? Yep. That's bad guy? I think you press square, or maybe triangle to change your target to what's in front of you. There you go. Yeah! Are oh, you still alive? Where'd he go? Oh, oh. Come back. Chat, what else is going on? Anything else exciting? Who's ready for Captain Marvel tomorrow? Go, 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 go. Jesus Christ. He's getting hairy. Okay, let me uh, take target out. I'm just gonna get this one here. Airborne. Damn. Couldn't get toned. Fire more, fire more. I don't have a good angle on him. You have to be like, kind of parallel with them. If you say so. Or I should say perpendicular, not parallel. You're good. Got him. Go, baby. Missiles have diminished tracking in the clouds. Well. Oh, really? Okay, then I'll go up in the cloud. I need to just get some distance, then come around for a better pass. Control tower. Is Burbank not streaming next week? I don't think the plan is to stream next week because these guys won't be here. We'll just stream from North Carolina. C-17 taking off. <laughs> nice. Uh, Alex the Geeky Gamer says, I got 100% for everything Spider-Man. Amazing game. Thank you, and welcome to the stream. Do you think lens flare and vignetting breaks the fourth wall in filmmaking video games? No, it's Definitely. good. It's good. Just not overdose with it, you know? Yeah. It's a no, good tool. It's fine. It enhances. Oh. I really thought you were going to take that down, and you never got anywhere close to a lock on it. Yeah. It just depends on, like, the angle they're coming in at. And... Oh, 
I was like reading something about like zooming too, you know, like when they zoom in mm -hmm. cinema, it's not natural. Like the human eye doesn't zoom. So like mm -hmm. you technically right. aren't, but it's used so much. Yeah, there are conventions of yeah. film language that people are used to. Yeah. Also, the, the focus is like way different. Like mm -hmm. the shallow depth of field, you never see stuff like that in real life, like yeah. that shallow. Bear Kai the Arbiter says hello. Howdy. Alex the Geeky Gamer does not like Screwball though. We we hear that sometimes. Uh, oh. Hit him, did kill him. Oh, uh, come on. Damn. You're not so good at this dog all fighting. All these enemies? Yeah. I thought it was like 10 enemies. Didn't someone say that? Or something you gotta kill all the red, the main red Oh, ones the main ones. Getting, that have getting target there. On. Getting close. Fire missiles, fire missiles, there you go. More missiles, fire, fire. It's the wrong tone. Here we go, I got this guy here. This one's good. I know you can slow down too. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna come up right behind him here. There we go, now I got him. Man, this guy's moving. Yeah, I got him, I got him. How am I not locking on to him? Like, he's right there. Oh. Shit. I'm out of afterburner juice. There we go. Hey, you should switch to your uh, sure. rams. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't get that guy. Cause these lock faster. Fire. Fire again. Ah. Let's try this again. I think I got a hit. Yeah, pretty sure you did. I should get someone. Okay, there we go. Okay. Boom, took out all three of those. Okay, so those missiles are way better for MIGs, and then the other ones are good for ground targets. This guy's coming right for me. Alright, Corey, come on! Switch missiles again. Yeah, well, because I'm very low on the other ones. Yeah, so. Use them. There we go. Nice. Target down. That's it. You did it. Did you? Are you sure? I just have a boss battle. Okay, good luck. You're still injured. You had 90% damage. <laughs> what is going on? Now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that missile almost got you. Missile coming in from the right. How you like that? It's pretty good. All right, let's see this. Howdy, remaster resistance. Oh yeah. Uh. Man, I ate my whole pork plate, but I'm hungry again. <laughs> snack after the stream. It's only 250. Jeez, we're like halfway done. That's fun. Who else is looking forward to big something on PS4? Here, play for a second. Hello. Yeah, this is he. I'm alright, how are you? No, I mean, you didn't, weren't able to fix the issue, or the ultimate issue, but, um, you know, uh, yeah. Hey, I got him with my machine gun. Well, no, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> but you couldn't fix it, so. No. Hang on a second. Be right back. He was no, getting a call from his bank. It's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, I've never like tilted my head so much like playing a video game, like turning like this the whole yeah. time. Yeah. Can't see him. Too much cloud coverage. What was the game remaster was playing? Ape something? I've never heard of that. Ape. Ape Escape? No, he's playing. He said I'm playing Ape something. See, I don't understand why. Like. Oh, Ugh, sorry about that. That was. It was the bank. Uh, I've had issues because they sent me overseas with a bad debit card. They gave me the wrong piece of plastic. Oh. They activated a new debit card on my account, and but the card they gave me was not the card that they activated. That's weird. And then when it didn't work overseas, and I called it like, that's not the number of the card. And I'm like, what do you mean it's not the number of the card? And like, well, we showed the debit card ends in these four digits. And I'm like, no, it ends in, fire again, fire again, fire again. No, I didn't have the angle you on it. You had red, you had red. I had red, but the, it, the, the, it's more than red. You Like, it's impossible for the... So, missile to hit him at that angle. So I thought they were calling, you know, for some mea culpa. They're like, oh, how did we do yesterday? I'm like, you couldn't fix it. <laughs> you still screwed me. Like, uh, their executive team called this morning. There and then go. they're like, oh, you have a phone password on your account. And I'm like, do I? I don't remember what I set that to be. So I got to go back into the bank to take, for a third time, to take my phone password off so that I can tell, yell at the executive team. Maybe they can fix it. Probably not, though. Did it. It's a whole thing. All right. So I'm changing it's... banks. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Was it RoboBank? No. <laughs> it's funny they're called RoboBank. It's like because it sounds like rob a bank. Yeah, that's true. Uh, anyway. But I thought maybe they were gonna offer me something or fix something. Maybe they'd figured it out. Nope. A little Wells Fargo reach around or something. <laughs> awful. Just awful. You can press X to skip oh. this, Justin. We don't need to watch the replay. Got it. Are you sure I had some cool moves there? Did you not take air-to-ground missiles? Is that why we had a problem with that mission? Uh, It didn't seem like I had options of stuff to take. It Holy seemed like there's just... You want to know something crazy? Looking at, I was looking at Instagram real quick. Helen Ray's had a 30 minute wait at lunch today. Mm. Lunch! Of course, now well, it's raining. An hour and a half to two hours. 
So everyone started going once they realized the line was 30, 45 minutes this morning. It's but, funny that 45 minute wait is considered good. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, they have a new, this is the new abomination though. It's like the double down. It's like an inside out burger where it's two chicken patties. Why? Why not? You can't fit that in your face, dude. You can unhinge your jaw like a snake or something. Uh, but it's like more chicken. I'll just buy two normal ones. That's, oh, that's, no, that's too much. Too much. I mean, the, the food is good, but it's like, you can't fit that in your face. It was it was a thing. It was like a big piece of chicken and a big piece of chicken with a bun in the middle. And it was like that. So you'd like take it to your face like... It was delicious. Just look at Hal and Ray's Instagram if you want to see it. It's the second photo. It's like two chicken patties. The bread's mm. in the middle. I don't even think they really need the bread, though, honestly. No. The bread is not going to do anything in that scenario. Uh, you know what it reminds me of is like, have you seen Napoleon Dynamite? No. You haven't seen Napoleon Dynamite? No, I've seen Napoleon Dynamite. It's like his little brother, uh-huh. and he gets with that girl. Yeah, La Fonda. Yeah, La Fonda. That's what that sandwich is like. Well. Okay, you can skip the brief. Oh. Uh. Take down the bandits. Alright, take down the bandits. It must have been fun to work on this UI. Jester dead! Oh, aircraft tree. What up? Can you get a different aircraft? Let's do it. Ooh. 70,000. How much money we got? You get a MIG. Ooh, a Mirage. Doesn't say how much money we have. Ooh, a lock. Okay. We have eighty-five thousand right now. All right, what should we get? Eighty-five thousand. Well, you could this. upgrade the F-14. That. Is that's Top Gun airplane? But of course, there's also missile upgrades too. That's true. What do you want to do? I don't care. Oh, but the F-1 uh, 14D looks so much more badass than the one you're in now. Look at it compared right. to the one you're in now. Oh, those textures loaded in late. Dude. Hi from KSA. We still got fifteen thousand bucks for some missile can't. upgrades. KSA, that's probably let's see. Um, and that's on Twitter. Amy says that. Uh, uh, Korean Streaming Association. What uh-huh. is this? Oh, increases yaw maneuverability, but oh, yeah, like, you want? Are you sure you don't want to upgrade the missiles first? Yeah, where's that at? Where? That's a guided penetrated bomb. Should we do this? That was and my then looks like Oh, that's a uh, air-to-air missiles that can lock onto eight targets. Want to do this? Yeah. Our stream ends at three thirty. Uh, so Maybe thirty-two you should minutes. Do, you should do the bombs at home in. Ah. Uh, Whose ones? Yeah. Maybe you should all just right, get it. Enough. Cool. We got all the special all weapons. Money. All right. Dude, this is badass. Now you're gonna fly that for Make sure you equip it. Oh. Did. Well, it should no, be no, 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 you should be, go back. Now go to your start mission, and it should take you to oh. the, now you there can you pick go. your F-14, and now it this should let you, you click that, and then it should take you to the weapon. So you can bring one special weapon, but I think you probably want to bring that one, the 8A. Okay. Cool. All right. Oh, uh, and then there's parts. With, uh, I guess we probably don't have any parts yet, huh? Probably so. not. Oh wait, we do have one upgrade part, huh? Okay. So should we stick that one in? Alright. Alright. Cool. Oh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So- oh! KSA, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. That's pretty cool. Welcome, welcome. Oh, who's, your, who's, in, who's in the back with you? F-14 is the top gun fighter, by the way. Oh, yeah? That's the Navy. Well, I would get um, Val Kilmer. Oh, you'd have Val Kilmer in the back? Although, I don't know if he would uh, um, put up with that, because he kind of wants to be, you know, the main dude in the front, but you'd have to take the back seat Mm. if he's riding with me. Oh, look, you're even launching from... I'm Maverick. He's Goose. You are launching from a carrier. See? It was appropriate. you got to press R2 to take off. Got it. 
pulled it. Holding it. Here we go. Try to run straight into the water. Probably will. Oh. oh. Okay. Sweet. That's cool. Uh. Eric says he has to jet. Oh, that was like minutes ago. Well, yeah. goodbye, Eric. Did you ever play Zone of the Enders? Oh, yeah. That was like my first game like this. I mean, I know it's not like this uh -huh. exactly, but it was kind of similar. That was a fun game. Yeah, it was a fun game. It felt like a movie. More like an anime, I should say. So you have 24 of your 8 AM missiles. Oh, no. Does this feel any different than the last yeah, jet? Yeah, it was a little bit different. Yeah. This it's a little heavier. And one on your six, there you go. Alex Trebek has stage four pancreatic cancer. Oh, dude, I didn't need to hear that. That sucks. Mm -hmm. <sighs> He's pretty old. So what's gonna happen to Jeopardy now? I'm gonna have to get a new host. Man, sorry to hear He's that. Gonna keep working and. That's terrible. Jesus. Oh man. He's basically like they revived Jeopardy and he was the host in nineteen eighty four, so my entire life mm -hmm. he's been hosting Jeopardy. Yeah. I know, it's a staple of my whole life. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger or something. It's like I don't want him to not be there. Yeah. That uh, sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I just was watching. They had a big all star tournament. Uh that was uh a lot of fun to watch and very difficult question wise, but um, Justice is blowing through special missiles. Oh, am I? Damn it! I'm such a dumbass. I thought. <laughs> no, I, thought no I thought I had the other ones equipped. Oh. They were a little bit slower to shoot. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, that's really sad. Yeah, that is sad. Jeez. Coming from your right. You got it. Coming from right behind you. You're good. I think Justin's lost right now. I'm lost. I don't think he has any idea what he's doing. Well, you basically have to play using the radar more than the screen itself. So, what you want to try to do is get behind an enemy that's moving forward. If they're coming sideways, you're never gonna hit them. So you gotta like try to like get behind a guy so you're both flying like that. And then Kian, what do you want us to say? Like, that's the most open-ended question about a game that's out. <laughs> I see those red guys. Why are they always behind me? I'm trying to turn around. That's an Why? arrow pointing at you, pointing you towards it. You know. There it oh. is. That one will miss. When you see the warning thing, just look on your radar to see if a little white line's coming at you, and you can tell by what direction it's coming at you if it has a chance to hit you or not. There you go. Well. Oh, you hold triangle to focus on locked targets. Just. Now you got a missile right behind you. bad here? I'm doing... Ooh, thought that one was gonna hit you. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do better now. Okay, so those red Justin, targets. Justin, follow, follow the arrow. There you go, right there. So, I think what you gotta do, look at the the radar and see the direction. Do you see that, that arrow right in front of you that is telling you which way the enemy is? Yes. It says F-16 target. Follow that, 
And now, there it is on the screen. Now follow it. Got it. Oops. There you go. Turn left. Turn left. No. There, you got there. that guy. Boom. Okay, there's another guy on your six. But not getting a good tone. He's going right. Why are you so cold, Scarlet Heels? Key and Prime, yes, the web's attached to buildings. Goodness gracious. So, okay, here, let's, uh, how about I got a topic. I've been watching some fantasy films lately. Okay. Top five fantasy films. Mm. This is an opinion, because I think, I'm not saying, like, objectively. Well. Subjectively. Name your top five fantasy films. I mean, the Lord of the Rings trilogy has to be way up there. Okay, that counts as one. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I was going to say. We're not counting the Hobbit movies, though. Uh-oh, there's birds. Oh, do we have an airship? Oh, we got an airship. I like how Justin's like, take this away from me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I was doing... I, I did better there at the end, though. Uh-oh. I'm learning. Stealth bombers. I'm learning how to do this. I think I got it. I think I'm doing pretty good. Oh, my God. If you hold circle, you watch the missile in cinematic view. Pressing square lets you adjust to the, the radar size. I think you have to press... You mean the touchpad adjusts the radar size, right? Square changes your missiles. So you're currently on your good missiles right now. Fire. There go all eight of them. Now you're out of good missiles. You gotta switch back to your regular. Oh! Oh! Shot down! I mean, I saw the warning, but I just figured it'd be okay. Whoa, that was nuts. Okay. Right. Scarlet is the size of a small tree branch. So you got Lord of the Rings. Um, maybe Dark Crystal? Um, oh, I don't like Dark Crystal. Why not? It's great. I don't like the main character. The puppet is not convincing enough for me. But it's got Bowie in it. That's no, it's Labyrinth. Labyrinth. I'm Labyrinth. Sorry. What? Okay. Yeah, see, it's hard, right? I don't understand what happened. <laughs> Um, so you're saying Lord of the Rings, Labyrinth. Well, yeah, Labyrinth. Sorry, not Dark Crystal. I meant Labyrinth. I said Dark Crystal. Well, Jim Henson, that's why. Yeah. I mean, I was... All right, three more. Uh, Justin? Uh, well, I mean, I'm, th I'm trying to think. I mean, Lord of the Rings is uh -huh. on there. Uh -huh. Sure. Um, fantasy. Um, maybe I'm the biggest fantasy nerd. It's for me. It's like hard to make a list of five because there's so many that I want to put on the list. Uh, uh, um, why can't I think too? Uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three. Uh, uh, hmm. Uh, what else would you put on your list, Corey? I do top ten list. I know. I'm just like I'm trying to think of like other ones. All right. right. Number one, easy Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> oh well, obviously. Easily. Um, I think. in no particular order, but ones that would be on the short list: The Neverending Story. That's Wolfgang Peterson. Yeah, well, I mean, Neverending Story is good. Um, Labyrinth, yes, for sure. Kroll. Kroll is awesome. Kroll is great fantasy. You got Liam Neeson. You got Hagrid. It's awesome. Um, what else? Willow. Yeah. Willow is terrific fun. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Yes. So that's five right there. Or is that even more than five? That might be six. Right. Conan, Kroll, Willow, Labyrinth, Neverending Story, Lord of the Rings. That's six. I mean, I guess it's the Harry Potter films are on there. That sort of counts. Sort of counts. Would you like Highlander, Corey? 
Oh, does Highlander count as fantasy? This, this thing. It, it, well, I mean, it's in here. It's along with Conan and all these other movies that you just said. Yeah, Highlander can count as fantasy. I guess for me, I don't count. Like, so much of Highlander just takes place in modern New York. And that's also with Harry Potter, so much of it takes place in modern England. Parts of it don't, but parts of it do. So I'm talking yeah. movies like Lord of the Rings, where it's like completely Pirates takes another time and place. No, that's not fantasy. That's This list is wrong. <laughs> I mean fantasy like, like Lord of the Rings is the archetype. Yeah, I know what you're you saying. Know? Yeah. Like swords and shit. Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. Um, is Kroll on that list? Uh, oh, I just was going Time report. Bandits? I saw Conan. Yeah, Conan better be on that list. Yeah, Time Bandits is pretty good. I saw like, obviously, uh, Never Ending Story. Oh yeah, Never Ending Story is great. Um, the Princess Bride. Oh man, that movie's so popular. I don't love it because the music Mary is so Poppins. awful. It's a really good movie, but the music is so Wizard awful. of Oz. Wizard of Oz? I don't like Wizard of Oz, <laughs> but I know it's a classic. It is a classic. How do you not like Wizard of Oz? It's great. I don't know. Like, it's so old and like the costumes and stuff. I don't know. There's Avatar for your favorite. Oh, it's James Cameron's Avatar. He's a great friend of mine. We work together on several films. <laughs> um. Is Avatar fantasy? It's sci-fi. It's not fantasy. It's sci-fi. Yeah, Avatar is sci-fi. Do you count Star Wars as fantasy? Some people do. It's both. Oh. It, it is very fantasy because the story is more of a fantasy story than a sci-fi story. Yeah, for sure. But it's a sci-fi setting. You count J.J. Abrams' Stra Star Trek as fantasy or sci-fi? Sci-fi. <laughs> you sure? I'm not sure, actually. What about Jumanji? Well, that's not fantasy <laughs> in my list, definition. Just that, that's just like Dude, This magic. genre is genre entertainment, but it's not yeah. fantasy. Yeah, we are tough. But I know what you're saying. Uh, I... Come on. Gladiator. Well, that's, that's not fantasy. fantasy. That's historical no. fiction. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like Braveheart. Yeah, no. I was going to say something like Troy or something. But that, hey, that's a good one. So I think we covered all the major fantasy movies. So now let's do top five. Historical fiction movies. <laughs> That's all right. right. Gladiators up there. Gladiator, Braveheart, Saving Private Ryan. Um, I almost don't count Saving Private Ryan because it's like not that historical. You know what I mean? Like it's. Yeah, I mean, I understand that it's history, but it's like a war movie. That. Flags of Our Fathers. Again, I don't know if I count. Anything. Okay, it's so like those are war movies. They okay. So so not war <laughs> yeah, movies. Guys. Okay. <laughs> Never okay, so figure this out. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, like, it's just not that. I, I get like, it. Yeah. Would you? All right, all right. So then, okay, so, but Braveheart and um, Gladiator. So three more. Historical. What, what do you uh, think Hunt of the Patriot? Do you like Mel Gibson? Well, Hunt for Red October <laughs> is. Um, uh, uh, Hunt for Red October is terrific. But that is a good movie. Uh, what was the one you said? Did you count The Patriot? The Patriot. I don't know if oh. I Oh. What about uh, Amistad? If you want historical. Schindler's List. Well, that's Those are both good. good historical fiction movies. Those are both really good. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, those could both be on the list. What about Back to the Future? <laughs> now, is that sci -fi. fantasy? Or is it sci-fi? Okay, so now let, okay, let's do... <laughs> is that a fantasy movie or a sci-fi movie? That's the real question. Le okay, let's do sci-fi now. Let's do top ten sci-fi, because that's such a deep genre. A bunch of Studio Ghibli stuff is fantasy. That's a good point. Oh, you can't forget good. stuff like Castle in the Sky. Uh, oh, yeah. Princess. Yeah. Princess Mononoke. Mononoke yeah. and Spirited Away is sensational. Yeah. Well, that would be on the anime list, though. <laughs> Different category. Um, okay, top 10 sci-fi. This is basically the same thing as top 10 Arnold Schwarzenegger films. Oh, Terminator. Terminator slash Terminator 2 counts as one entry, and that's number one. What? No. What's better than Terminator 1 and 2 combined? Nothing. Nothing can hold a candle to it. Nothing can hold a blowtorch to it. <laughs> oh, my God. A New Hope. Emperor Straits Back. Okay, those can hold a candle to uh, Terminator, yes. But ultimately, I choose Terminator because it's hard R, and I like hard R tone. Back to the Future. If that Ooh, counts Close Encounters, E.T. Oh. You know, 
Uh, 2001 I, A Space Odyssey? I like 90s Spielberg. I don't actually like 80s Spielberg. And what? Call me crazy. Call me crazy. What? Oh, dude, get out. I don't love Close Encounters Raiders, and E.T. Raiders I, I don't. Lost Ark. I like okay, I like Raiders. And yeah, come on. Like, you can't say that and then... Like... But, but listen, 90s Spielberg, and I would venture to say that Jurassic Park is better than E.T. or Close Encounters in terms of a sci-fi movie. <laughs> oh, there's a historian here. Lots of those movies aren't historical oh, fiction. Alien. Of course we have a historian watching out of like the 40 people still watching oh, the stream. Alien and yeah. Aliens. Yeah. Well, uh, Alien and Aliens, of course, had to be on the list. You're talking James Cameron. I knew we were going to get there eventually. Close Encounters more than E.T., I think, personally. I, I, I like the idea of Close Encounters, but I don't know. Like, I saw it in theaters when they did the IMAX thing for it like a couple years ago. Yeah. And I was just kind of like... Ah, Richard Dreyfus, Jesus, like, he's so, like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, it's a good movie. It's really well made. The Matrix? Oh, there you go. Oh, that might be... Man. Ghostbusters? Ghostbusters is good, but The Matrix, hold on. I gotta figure out, does The Matrix, where does it sit compared to Terminator and Star Wars? Because it is as good as those movies. It's just, is it better? No. Like, which one goes first? No. It has an H as well. Go watch it again today. When was the last time you watched it? Well, it's, it's cheesy now because they all wear the BDSM leather stuff, but, like, <laughs> it's, I mean, but, dude, but, that I movie's mean, so badass. Yes, I, like, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, like, I feel like it has not aged into, like, I don't feel like it's viewed the same in the same classic light as those other movies were 20 years later. Mmm, okay. Like, okay. Okay, that's valid. Like, it's still great, but it's, like, it's sort of, like, it was considered an instant classic at the time, but I feel like it's not as highly regarded now. And honestly, it hasn't been as highly regarded since its two sequels came out. Yeah, the sequels suck. They suck terribly, but dude, Hugo Weaving doing that Mr. Anderson. It's like, it's so good. It'll never not be good. And then also uh, Lawrence Fishburne, like, you know, with the little, like all those, it's like, dude, it's so good. So good. Okay, but it is it is just one tiny notch below Terminator and Star Wars. Stuff. Oh, for sure, it's definitely. A notch. It's like one A and one B, but it's still one. It's it's still the first one's still. It's like the Dartmouth good. of films, you know, where it's like okay, yeah, your Ivy Bye -bye. League, your Ivy League just barely. Bye. -bye. Boom. But you're no Princeton. Um, but yeah, Matrix. Oof, that's a good one. Okay, now I'm also gonna say Predator, Total Recall, Starship Troopers. They're all on top ten. Blade Runner. The original Blade Runner? Or 2049 or whatever it They're was? They're both very good. Man, I like the new one too, jeez. I still need to see the new one. I'm such a piece of crap. You haven't seen yeah, the new Blade Runner? No, he hasn't watched it, James. What? I've seen that like five times. What? <laughs> no. What? I know, man, I know. It's really cool. Dude, it's like an 80s movie. Maybe uh, I'll watch it this weekend or something. Oh, we just failed. I'm done. I'm... We're reading the chat. Those I am a Watson. I extremely dislike Star Wars. Yikes. You don't like E.T. Yeah, good luck. It took you all the way back. It took you all the way back to the beginning of the mission. Mad Max. Oh, Mad Max uh, Fury Road, right? Yeah. Well. That's well. amazing. Yeah. They're all good. Oh, I like that, um, Thunderdome. <laughs> Tina Turner. We don't need another hero. <laughs> what, same phone who dis? Uh, what is it? This is James. Can we get Jabrinsky Games on oh stream as a guest? I don't know. I always watch it. Those things are hilarious. <laughs> Who's that? Oh. Jesus Christ, I'm at 97. This is hard. James, did you watch any of those Jack Black videos on his YouTube channel? 
the Jablinski games things. Mm. It's just hilarious. And he just talks about, the, he's like, I, someone stole my Delgato. He calls it the Delgato instead of the Elgato. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm and really then he just watch. doesn't play. He did, like he says he's going to play the games, and then he just like trolls the whole time, and then goes and, like goes to the arcade or something uh, with his kids. Got it. It's, it's pretty yeah. hilarious. Is Jurassic Park sci-fi? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that should count. It's yeah, like the sure. definition of like heart, or like, uh, like pure sci-fi. Where it's like Definitely. science, and there's fiction of what can happen with science. Welcome, Doctor Grant, to Jurassic Park. I still love that uh, nerdist cut that like matched oh, yeah. the Fire Festival documentary with Jurassic oh, Park. God. So good. Did you watch the, any of the Fire Festival documentaries? I haven't. Yet. I've only I seen the yet. Netflix one because I don't have Hulu. Uh, I kind of want to watch the Hulu one too because the Netflix one was a glorious train wreck. I need to watch those. What's with all these late joins in Periscope? Uh, I don't know. People were tuning in. They're tuning in. Uh, use the F-22. We don't have an F-22 unlocked yet. We just started playing. Do you feel a difference with this one? No, I can't. All right, same phone. Who this? If you get Jack Black to come in and do the, do that, if he wants to come on our stream, he can come on anytime, play anything he wants, and I'll even make him whatever food he wants. <laughs> I'll slave over it all morning long in so, the kitchen. I love that too. That awesome. You know the way that Will Ferrell and uh, John C. Riley are like a comedy duo. Uh huh. So imagine if Chris Farley didn't die and he made like four movies with Jack Black. Mm. Think about how fucking amazing that would have been. I know, Hilarious. we know it, yeah, we know the F-22s. They definitely have similar, like, end of the earth. Yeah, they like, just haven't uh, unlocked it. Just how they move and stuff. Yeah, you they're ball shaped and they yeah. Uh, yeah, light on their feet. light you, on their feet, yeah. Either of you guys watched The Lobster? I haven't yet. No, I've eaten lobster before. Yeah, well, anyway, it made me think because John C. Riley's in that movie. Uh, and that movie's weird. Good, but weird. Scarlet Heels. See you later. Yeah. Swing by Friday. We'll probably play something else Tim doesn't want us to play. Apex. No, we're not playing. Well, if you want to play more Apex, we need to get better at it if we're going to keep playing it. Well, that's how we get better at it. Jonathan Kayla. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like one of the few games I'm actually playing. Hilarious. I never thought I would have started playing this Battle Royale game, but really good. It's really good. It really is. Look how many missiles I have left. You actually have your good ones again. You have 24 of them. Ooh! Did you see that thing with Jack Black and the Thor, with Thor on Instagram? No. Oh my god. I gotta show you guys that video. It's okay. so funny. He, right. he just, like, um, Chris Hemsworth is like doing a workout on his Instagram, like all serious, yeah. and then Jack Black like mirrors it, uh -huh. <laughs> and like he plays like the Thor Ragnarok music to it. It's so funny. If you hold triangle and so line funny. up your nose with the target, it makes shooting targets down way easier. Yeah, I'm doing that. You're holding triangle. Put on the brakes and they'll fly right on by, says Carlos de la Torre Jr. What's up, dude? How are you? You got it. You got it. Boom. Goodbye. Okay. Wait, I have a drink in here. I was like, man, I'm really thirsty. Mission failed. Yeah, no, retreating ally got shot down. See, same problem. Dang, all that work. Oh, there's yeah. only one guy left. Well, we're out of time, man. Anyway. Yeah, you're gonna have me do this. Then? No, we're out of time. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, that's all for now. Thanks for letting us. For those of you who stuck around this whole time watching us flail around in Ace Combat 7. Oh wow, the viewership died there at the end. Holy crap. Yeah, nobody's watching. What happened? 
I don't know. I think, like, uh, well, we'll talk about it after. Um, that's it. We'll see you guys Friday.